back, people. We got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. So I started the stream a little bit later because I've been busy today. Been busy uh, editing. Been busy busy making videos. Uh, yeah, I've been really busy. <laughs> So we've got some great content coming. We've got some great videos coming. I feel like, I don't know why, but I feel like the videos that I make, you guys seem to be really interested in that more than the live stream, but we're still gonna be, yeah, we're still gonna be doing our thing, but um, I definitely do like making those videos. Those videos are good. So we're gonna try some boat fishing. I don't know how well that's gonna go. <laughs> well, uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. We haven't done some boat fishing. I did a boat fishing video and it was actually a pretty quick pace of catching. It was pretty good. So because of that reason, that's why now I'm gonna try now I'm gonna try doing some boat fishing whilst being live. I said I weren't gonna do this just because of the downtime. But thinking about it now, looking at it now, we might actually be able to be we might actually be okay for live streaming doing Doing some boat fishing. It might not be too slow. It might be alright. We I was catching at a pretty fast pace the the video that I made, so because of that I uh, yeah, I think we might be good. We might be good. Clicking all the wrong buttons, I'm just getting set up and I will be you guys as quick as I can. Give me just a moment. The amount of subscribers that we had yesterday and today is absolutely un unbelievable so thank you for everybody's support it's nice when I work hard and I I see I see improvement <laughs> it's nice to see that okay right I think we are ready to rock and roll I think we are let me just check one more thing So anytime there is updates on Fishing Planet, we're going to download, install, get them updates to you as quick as we can, just to mention for anybody who's new. We try and get them updates out fast. Um, okay. We are ready. Let's bring you guys in. Okay. So I need to, let's go into a private room because I don't want to get in anybody's way. I'm going to be moving around quite a bit on this boat. And yeah, I don't want to get in anybody's way. So I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, hopefully it's as good as, <laughs> as good as the video. With the video I did make a few edits, but it wasn't, it wasn't loads, loads. But we was catching, we was actually catching pretty fast. So because of that, we're try boat fishing today, and if it don't go so well, then the worst scenario is is that we end up we don't we don't do it again. We don't do it as a live stream. So there might be a little bit of downtime. I will try my best for there not to be as much downtime, but obviously there's only so much that I can do. So yeah, you do have to bear with me. So first off, let's jump over the to here. Oh, well, wow, it's uh, wow. Okay, that's really glitchy. Okay, so we're gonna jump in our bass boat. We sold the best boat, and um, if you wanna know why we made a video on that, you can always check it out. I did, but I've still got a problem with the bike though, man. I uh, I connected the the, uh, the battery up to the motorbike, and it all lit up, the horn works, and the dashboard, all the indicators work, which it didn't before, so. The battery has definitely fixed that problem, but when Geordie had the bike, uh, he had a problem once where he the electric start button for some reason wasn't working. So I think that's what's happened again. I keep pressing the electric start button, nothing happens. But as soon as I kickstart it, though, I kickstart it, and it starts literally instantly. Like I could, I can actually go like that with my hand and start the bike with my hand. So I'm glad that I'm glad that it does move and I, I am able to use it because yeah, not having anything to get around on sucks big time. 
So, uh, it's going to cost me a, a, a few a few pounds to try and get it repaired. I need to get. I'm going to need a new electric start. I don't. It's definitely. I don't think it's the starter motor because it's not making. It's not making um, like any any strange noises, and it kickstarts fine. So. It's definitely something somewhere. How's it going, Boss Gamer? Good to see you, man. Do you remember about that? How much is that going to cost? Man. I don't know. Probably anything. Probably about £100 in total to, to repair it all. It's going to cost me probably about £100. So I spent £57 on the battery. Buying a new battery for the motorbike. Guys, again, Michael, good to see you back, man. Thanks for coming to join us. Yeah, £57 on a battery, and then I've got to buy... Um, it's not the actual electric start. It's not the actual button. It's something that's connected to that. I, I can't remember the specific name of what it's what it's called. Right, I'm going to use that. That's what I used in the video that we made. So I'm going to fish here, but we're going to do some boat fishing, but I'm going to go all... I'm not just going to stay at this location. We're going to move around a lot. We're definitely going to move around a lot. Just to show you, show you guys. You all keep on asking me to do boat fishing. You always say fish off the boat. It's what you guys want. It's what I have to give. <laughs> if you guys request it, you get it. I had a hit there. I missed it. Yeah, it's... Um, it is a pain, it's going to cost me quite a bit, but I, it has annoyed me a bit, but not too, too much. I'm happy that the bike starts, that's the main thing, man. The bike's starting, it's um, not having a bike to, that starts, it's a pain, especially when I need it. DNS error, how's it going, man? Your videos help me out a lot with leveling up, thanks, bro. That's always a good thing. <laughs> I'm glad it helps, man. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I was thinking, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something then. That's what I was gonna do. Hmm, it's telling me to, why is it telling me to sign into my chat? What? I just wanna, just wanna quickly check, make sure we have Nightbot with us. Because I didn't select to join the channel. I don't know if it stays automatically or not. I think it should. I think it should, or maybe it's not. Okay, it is. That's alright. Okay, we're good. Just had to check that. Just because sometimes when I got them big fish on, I can't look at chat every second. And, um, yeah. That, that monetizes things. I like to keep everything family friendly. <clears throat> Let me, can I make that smaller? Oh, there we go. That's better. I'm going to keep two chats up. Because the other day when I was streaming, people were messaging and I didn't even know. And people were getting angry because I wasn't replying to, the, to people messaging. But <laughs> I had no idea my chat froze on my PC. The chat froze and people was sending me messages and I couldn't reply and yeah, people weren't happy. There's not much I could do if my chat freezes though. But now I've brought up two chats, so hopefully if one freezes, we've got the other one. Yeah, large mouth bass. Not bad to start off with. This major popper is good. You know, the only problem is actually, Dots, are you still in, are you still in chat? Yeah, this, this popper is good. I've got some really big tarpon on this. And uh, we've caught a lot of other uniques with this as well. Me just moving around all different places. It's really good. Are you are still there? Yeah, I was going to say, the only problem is... No garage is open. So I can't get anything repaired. I could fix it myself, but I don't know what part needs to be repaired. I don't know what, I, I don't know what the name of it's called. At least I'm still able to drive though. I don't mind that I have to kickstart it. As I say, it's so easy to kickstart. I can literally kickstart it with my hand. 
Oh wow, are you kidding me? The amount of times that kept on trying to hit it and it didn't even... I've noticed that does happen a lot here. And again, look at that. One thing I did want to try, oh no, I hope I'm going to be able to buy it from the shop. I wanted to try the swim bait, hash, hash, what was it? There's a new one, I've forgotten, uh, it's six, yeah, it's the six hook. Oh no, I can't buy it. Oh. And I don't think I did buy it in advance. I'm not, I'm not that smart. Let's see. <laughs> we got the five, nah. So, because we're now level 60, we are able to unlock the the swim bait with the hash six. Uh, the five works really well, so I wanted to try the six, but me being me, rushing, setting up my stream, I completely forgot about that. There's a garage open, but don't know if they do bikes. Uh, there is, I know, I went to, I rang up, I rang up this one, um, I forgot the name of what it's called, but anyway, I rang up a, mo rang up a few motorbike shops, uh, asking if they had any batteries. And there was only one shop that actually answered. I rang quite a few shops as well, and there was only one shop that answered the phone. So I might have to ring them, or wait until I got, I got some money. And then uh, I'll have to ring them and then tell them that it don't work. You see, the, the biggest problem is, it's not about paying for it, but the biggest problem is, is they probably, the part they're going to need, because it's an Italian bike, the, the part that I need, I probably ain't going to have. So they tell me they'll have to order it in, and then I'll have to wait, and yeah... Definitely got a lot cooler in the evening though, which is good. It's been really hot today. Yeah, it is too long, man. It is too long. I think it was better when I fished here. It was, I was doing really, really good. A little bit later on, not so early. So we're, we're really early. So let's go to about 11... Yeah, let's go to 11. There we go. Look at that. That looks so beautiful. What a, I'd love to fish there in real life. Look at that. <laughs> that looks really nice. Wow. Uh, obviously, the picture quality ain't going to be as good for you guys as what it is for me. I, I get to see it high quality. But if you've never played this game on PC, Max Graphics, it does actually look really good. The rimples on that water. Oh wow, that looks really nice. So this popper works. We can do other things. I could actually do some bait fishing off of this boat, but I feel like I do that too much. I, I, I do a lot of bait fishing. So that's why I wanted to do boat fishing, just to show you guys something a little different. And the, the other good thing is, is because these fish are not very big, I can definitely fit a lot of these in my net. So in one day, if I only fish for them little fish and then bother going for any tarpon in one day, I probably could make a serious amount of cash. How's it going, Judy? Good to see you again. It was so, it's so hot, right? I, um, well, not me myself, but someone cooked me a jacket potato and some salad, and it looked really nice. It did look really nice. It did taste really nice, but because it's so hot, I just couldn't, I couldn't eat it. And the first thing they said was, do you not like it? <laughs> I did like it. I absolutely love eating salad. I love, yeah, I really do love salad, but I couldn't. I just, it's so, it's too hot to eat. I know what'll happen. Probably about 11, 11 p.m. tonight. Well, 
maybe 11, 12. <laughs> because they haven't eaten, I will feel real hungry. And then I know what I, I do what I always do. The Weetabix comes out, some cereal. <laughs> I do that too much, it's not good. All right, I think I might move to a different spot. I'll have one more cast here. I'm not, ca I'm not getting much interest. Why am I not moving? Have I got the anchor on? I think I put the anchor on, didn't I? No, I, don't, I didn't have the anchor on. Why can I not move? There we go. It lets me go, oh, okay, I was stuck on that little, that little bit there. I wonder what was going on. All right, yeah, so we'll try one more cast here. We'll see if we get any interest. If we get no interest, then we'll move to another spot. I can't do downtime. I hate downtime. I feel like it's not good good content for you guys to watch. and It's not good for me either. <laughs> but it's what you guys what you guys wanted to see spinning on, on, the, on the boat. So that's what you wanted. Is that... Large mouth? Yeah, large mouth. Okay. Just because we caught that, we'll do one more cast. If I keep getting interest, or I keep getting fish, then I don't mind staying here for a little bit. But if we don't get too much, and then we'll move around a little bit. I do know that if I come here about around about 6pm, it is really good. Or anything from 4pm onwards. It is pretty, pretty fast. So we'll see. I could use something else as well. How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. I could use like buzz bait or something. Or a different type of popper. I know it will work, but I want to use this major popper because this major popper it worked really, really well. It did work really well in the video that I did. Okay, so let's have a look at the map. So we're here. I don't think I've ever actually been down this way. I don't, no, I haven't. I have never, ever been down that way. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. So it turns in this way. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, whoa. Okay, we're gonna we gotta try there. Whoa. We gotta try there. I'm gonna try that bit. I've never been down this way. Oh, look at these bits of logs here as well. Oh, and there. Oh, wow. There's gonna be a lot of places where we can fish off the boat. I didn't actually realise there was that much. It don't matter that you're late, Dominic. You still made it, man. <laughs> Thanks for coming to join us again. I have never been down this way. I'm very surprised there's so many bits of logs sticking out the water. There is a lot. So let's... Oh, wow, there's more over here. Look at all of these. How long Blue Crab Island's been out in yet? I've never, never come over this way. Just because there's so many good hot spots. I feel like these though, where all these bits of woods are sticking out the water all over the place. These are going to be the good spots. They always are. Okay, let's have a look. So we're here. So let's go down this way. I want to have a quick look in there. As I say, I've never fished in this part. I fish blue crab, but not in these parts where we are, because it's not very often I do boat fishing, so I want to have a look, see if I can find a really, really good spot. There is a lot of good spots that I've found already, but I want to see if I can get better. Uh, I've never played it myself, but a lot of people have said that the Fisherman's Fishing Planet is not as updated as Fishing Planet. And the updates are a lot slower, and the the real mechanics are the old real mechanics of the game. Yeah, yeah, but apparently there's 
yeah, it did come out on PS4, but apparently there is no DLC yet. I don't see any DLC. There might be now, because I haven't been on all day. So there is a possibility, but I didn't see any DLC. I don't have the money at the moment for a DLC anyway, so it's not a bad thing. Right, so I'm going to just go through here really slow. And see on the fish finder if anything shows up. There's a lot of bit, there's a lot of logs. Oh wow, there's not even anything. It is for you. What is the DLC? What's it called? In my, uh, uh, then that way I know if it's the same DLC that I brought for PC. I'm very surprised nothing... How's there no fish around here? That's strange. I bet if I did cast though, I would get some interest. Because I uh, there's no way... Near these bits of logs, every lake that I've ever been in, anytime I fish near these, I always get fish. Always. Nothing's showing up on the fish finder, though, for some reason. There's got to be fish here. And look, look, I even see movement. No way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fish here. I'm going to try it just for a minute. I'm going to have a few casts. There is no way. Look how nice this place looks, though. I did crank my graphics up and did, did an update on my graphics driver, so that's probably why I seem kind of like, whoa, the picture. <laughs> yeah. My graphics driver needed updating for a long time, and I kind of left it for a, a long time. And Wow, look at them. This looks so nice. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I see movement there on the water. There's that wood, so there's no reason why we shouldn't... We shouldn't get a, at least a bite, even if we don't get something that takes it. We should get at least some in, sort of interest. Let me go over this way. Get over this side, and then that way I can keep the lure around these bits of logs. Rainforest Journey Pack. That's the same one as what I brought. Okay, so they didn't add a different, a different DLC then. Yeah, it cost me seventeen pound fifty on Steam. How much is it on? How much is it on uh, PS4? Is it the same amount? I am going to be playing PS4 with you guys. Don't worry, but I've got a cash flow problem. My bike is causing me problems. I need to I need to fix my bike, and so any money that I get at the moment it has got to go towards my motorbike. I need that to to be on the road. I need to be able to get out. So, yeah, I'm not going to be fishing PS4 for a little bit just because of the cash flow. But I am going to be, we are going to be. We definitely are going to. It's 25. Wow. 25. Does it say how many days you get to fish there, though? Because it's more, because it's more money, I'm thinking maybe it's more than... More than seven days because it gives you seven days premium, seven days to fish there. Is that still the same? <clears throat> I'm actually quite excited. I've made some some of the videos that I've made. I, I am. I, I really want to just hurry up and drop them. I am quite excited. I've made some really good, good videos. Some good videos on Fishing Planet, but not just Fishing Planet. I've made some other types of videos as well. Like kind of like vlogs, kind of thing. So uh, there's going to be some good content coming. Because I started the stream, I started the stream a little bit later today as well, just to mention that. Just because, um, yeah, me trying to get a motorbike battery, because my battery ain't no good. And um, we're not catching here, so I'm going to change this popper. There's too much interest there. There's no way we can't catch something here. I've never fished at this spot, but there's no way we wouldn't can't catch. we we got to catch something. We have to. Let's put on a smaller popper. 
So this one's the hash for. We have to catch something. There's too much movement on that water. Movement on the water plus these logs equals loads of fish. There's got to be fish here. Still get seven days. I see. I I think that's that's really bad, man. Like I don't say anything bad about fishing planet, but I do have to give my honest opinion. And that that DLC sucks. It's not worth buying it. It really ain't worth buying it. It's not. Yeah, it's not good. Other than the rod, you get this rod and reel. That's worth it. But other than that, you can always you can always buy this with in-game money anyway. So. But that's exactly why I buy those DLCs, <laughs> laugh out loud. That's why I buy these DLCs, because I buy them, and then I recommend whether they're good or not. Now, this Blue Crab Island, I definitely reckon that was worth it. It did cost more money, it was like £30. But I thought it was so good that I bought it for PS4, and then um, somebody donated it through the stream for me to have it on, P on PC as well, so that was really good. But I... If, if they didn't donate me this, uh, the D, the DLC, if they didn't donate me it, I would have brought it myself anyway. For £30, they come fish at Blue Crab. 30 days premium, 30 days uh, to fish this place, no matter what level you are. To get a new boat, which we sold. <laughs> get a spinning rod and reel. It's not the best spinning rod and reel that it gives you. It's not this one that I got in my hand. Yeah, it doesn't give you the very best spinning rod and reel, but the 30 days premium though, you get some cash, different lures and stuff. Why am I not catching? There's movement there. There is movement. Let me go with the buzz bait. The good old buzz bait. The buzz bait shouldn't let me down. If it does, then I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving location again. I should get something here though. Like I know I've never fished at this spot. So what I'm doing now is just pure luck. But I've always caught fish near near bits of wood. And especially that I keep seeing movement on the water. There's got to be fish here. But then the fish finder isn't showing any fish here. So I really don't know. We'll have a few casts with this buzz bait. If we get no interest then we will move. We should get the buzz bait always gets interest. You're fishing for mad, mad eye buffalo. I quite like the buffalo, they do look nice. Buy a bait caster and try it out. At the minute I'm in the process, I do need, really I should have just went for fishing for tarpon for today. I don't need XP, but I do need more cash because me getting selling the DLC boat and buying this bass boat. This bass boat was nearly four hundred thousand cash. So we did it did take my money down a little bit, but from the stream that we did yesterday, that gave us that gave me a big boost. It definitely did give me a big boost. I earned a serious amount of cash yesterday. I think we got like near six hundred thousand. I hear like a buzzing sound there. I think that wasn't the that wasn't the game, wasn't it? All right. Well, there is nothing on the fish finder, so I should listen to the fish finder. But I am very surprised there's not any fish near the near here. Maybe there would be, but we're just not at the right time. I don't want to keep changing time too much. Oh wow, we we really got stuck. What's that red thing over there? What's that? Oh wow, okay. I can actually fish off there. I never knew that. I never I never knew that. I definitely have to try that at some point. I won't try it through this one because we obviously are fishing on the boat, but I am definitely going to try that. Maybe I could fish off there. I probably could. Let me see. 
I've never been down this way. Oh, wow. Does it let me get on? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't let me get on there. I've never ever seen... I've never been down this way, though. Let's have a look again, see where I'm at. Okay, so I'm there. Right down there. Yeah, I've never been down in this way. I've, like, I've been up in these little bits, and I've been down in here and all around there, but... I've never, never ever been down this bit. Okay, let me just drive forward a little bit, because... Yeah, it'll take us a couple of weeks to get there otherwise. I should be able to get on there. I should be able to get on there. Come on. Okay, yeah, nice. Alright. Well, I will try this out. I'm going to try fishing up here. Not right now, because obviously this is boat fishing, but... Yes. A new spot. And now I did this, showing this new spot live... Everyone's probably going to catch fish and show this hot spot before me, but just know you see it here first. <laughs> okay. Can I go in there? That'd be awesome if I could. Uh, that would that would have been good. Nobody saw that. <laughs> no one saw that. All right, let's start up our boat. Let's get. Let's actually go get some fish now. Okay, so one thing I want to do really quick as we're heading away from this bit, we're going to go over there. I want to see, I want to drive past there and see if the fish finder beeps. There's got to be fish around here, otherwise you wouldn't be able to fish off that place. So there's definitely got to be fish around here. Whether they're far out there, over to the left or right, I will have to look. <laughs> yeah, I probably will do some. I will do some tomorrow, but I've got the stream title as boat. So, and I've never done a stream fishing on the boat. I've always just made videos instead of actually doing it. So, yeah, we'll try the boat today. But tomorrow, I, I, I give that a shot. We'll see what happens. All right, let's go get some fish. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, I've never seen that there before. See, there's a lot of these logs sticking out of the water. Here looks like it's got to be a good spot. I'm going to have a look, see if anything shows up on the fish finder. There's so many logs around here. There's look, there's so many places where fish can hide through here. There's got to be fish here. Nothing's showing up here. Wow. Is my fish finder even working? Oh, hold on. I heard, heard it beep then. I'm very surprised it's not showing up for loads of fish though. I would have really thought this would have been a good spot. There's so many bits of wood. As I say, maybe certain times. Okay, let's go forward. Oh, wow. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I was holding my finger on X. I don't know why it's a drive. I don't know why. I have no idea. Okay, so over here. I want to make sure this fish finder works. Because so far, nothing's popped up. I don't know if it's bugged out or... There's nothing showing on the fish finder. Why is nothing? Why is nothing? Why is nothing? Let me change time. I want to change the time and see if anything comes up. Oh, no. Oh, okay, that's all right. I thought I went to the next day. How's it going, Temple? Welcome to the stream, man. Okay, so I changed time now. Let me see if anything lights up. No. I think my fish find is not working. I don't know why. Oh, no, there you go. It picked up. Oh, there you go. 
Okay, so the fish finder does actually work, so that's um, that's something. And now I've got myself in a funny position. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, what am I doing right now? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Come on. I just want to... Oh, my God. I just want to catch some fish. I just want to catch some fish. That's it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I should. This buzz bait is always good. This buzz bait is always good. So let's try. See if we get any interest. Oh wow, look at all that movement there on the water. Oh wow, that's a lot of movement there. Okay. Let's see, we should get some interest for this buzz bait though. We'll see. Your dog had five seizures? Dang, man. The heat don't help. How hot it is? I don't know if it's hot where you are. I hope your dog's okay though, man. I hope, you, I hope your dog is okay. Uh, we got snagged with something. I, I don't know, I just... Me fishing like this, doing it as recordings, okay, because I can just, I can make it entertaining and catch fish so fast, but... Yeah, like this. I am sorry about downtime. There's not much I can do it, do about it. There really ain't. I keep catching a lot of these trash stuff, so it's not bad because we do. If we get get a certain amount of that, then um, we will get some gold coins. But I think I have done. I know I've definitely done stage one of that junk challenge. So I don't know about stage two. So if I do keep on hooking up with rubbish like that, it's not all so bad. Oh, I'm just going to get snagged a lot here, aren't I? I'm going to keep getting snagged a lot. Maybe using the buzz bait, not such a good idea. So I caught with the crankbait as well, which I was actually quite surprised about that. I did catch with the crankbait. Let me try. This popper works quite well here as well. I should have really looked at the times. I just took the time forward. It's what I should have done. I should have looked at the time really and seen when the best time, the peak times were. That's what I, that's what I should have done. But me being me, I and I just I get on. I just I just start fishing. That's both in. I think. Okay. Not a big fish, but I thought I don't mind if we're not catching big fish as long as I'm actually catching something, and then uh, then it's pretty good. Been looking for buzz baits, you can't find them. Whereabouts are you looking for them though? <clears throat> if you look for them on, um, if you look for them in a shop. And something doesn't show in the shop. It's because you can only buy certain things by being at the main menu. So if you're in a lake and you go to the shop, everything's going to be more expensive. It's going to cost you a lot, lot more. And it will not show everything. So if you're ever going to buy anything, buy it before you go to a lake. Oh, I was reading chat there. I missed that. They definitely like this popper though. We've had a lot more interest with this popper, but then again, me changing time, obviously that's going to play a part and help a little. Quite 
quite a t I actually did try it crew two once before. I weren't It was okay, but I weren't a big fan of the crew two. But I, I am I, I was thinking that though. I was thinking about asking you guys and seeing what other what other sort of games you guys are interested to see me see me stream or make videos or something like that. I am still going to be playing Fishing Planet. This is still going to... I missed that. How did I miss that? That was such a big splash as well. It was probably a good fish. <laughs> well. Yeah. Fishing Planet is still going to be our main game. But I definitely am going to bring some other games as well. It's pretty cool. I, I've done that. I've met a few different people in um, in different streams. There's a few people that I got on on Steam. Added uh, like we're added as friends because watching people, different people stream and chatting and yeah. It's, sometimes you can meet some. YouTube can be a really good thing sometimes, but then sometimes it can be a really bad thing. It really can. I've met some really nice people, but I've also met quite a few silly people as well. I've probably met more nice than than silly people, so that's that's one good thing, I guess. You play that game? How's it going, Kenji? Good to see you again, man. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm not on PS4. I'm going to keep on playing PC until I've got money, because I don't have money for the to buy the DLC for P PS4 and I've already shown the new lake, shown hotspots, unique fish and I've already shown that DLC so it, it don't bother me too much but my motorbike's having problems and my money's got to go on my motorbike <laughs> so yeah I'm not going to be I'm not going to be playing PS4 for a little bit because I don't have money for premium or the DLC but I've already put out those new videos of that new lake anyway I've done a lot of live streams and a lot of videos on the new lake, so not so bad. Do you know Crew... What's that? Crew Dog Gamer. No, I've never heard of that. I've never heard of... Is that is it a streamer or something? I don't... I don't know. You only get notifications if the stream ends. Yeah, YouTube's been having a problem. Keep pushing out my notifications, so we're not getting everybody watching watching the stream. But yeah, there's not much I can do about that. That's not down to me. I try my best, but um, sometimes YouTube they're busy. I, I get it. They are busy. So you don't you don't watch him because he curses. Okay. You played with Crew before in one of his streams. That was a long nose guy. Did I? I don't know, man. I might have done. I I do go in random rooms quite a lot, so there's a good possibility I could have I could have played with him. Not personally with him, but like in the same in the same room as him. Possibly, I don't know. You're good, bros. Uh, school starts next week for you, does it? Yeah, it does for my kids. So that's why right now I can't spend any money on my game. As much as I really want to buy premium and I really want to play PS4, I can't. Because my motorbike needs to work so I'm able to take my kids. So I'm able to go, go to my kid and pick them up and take them into school. So Because my kids are going to be going back to school. And if I even got a motorbike, it means I'm not going to be able to get there. So... All my money has to go to my bike for the moment. I managed to get a battery, so my bike actually does start, which is one thing. But I've managed to fix one thing, and now another thing's um, messed up on my bike. So that sucks a little bit. But did you see the video where Crew Dog Gamer was fishing and bubbles come? Yeah, I told Crew about that. His last night's stream. I'll have to check him up, man. I've never, I've never heard of him. We'll have to have a look. 
I, obviously, is Fish and Planet his main game, is it? This was before I saw his stream. Here's a streamer. Oh, okay, so he, he obviously does live, not just videos. I have caught a few fish on this boat, yeah. I have caught a few fish, and it's not been terribly good, so I'm going to move location now. I have caught a few here. We've had some bowfin, some gar, some peacock bass, some largemouth bass, but it's not been very, very fast paced. What was it? I saw a name, Crew Dog Game, on a stream. I have no idea who you're talking about, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will. I will. I will check him out though. I'll have a look. So, is he family friendly, or did you say that he he curses? Does he does he cuss bad, or? He does cuss a lot. Okay. I am in Blue Crab Island. Blue Crab Island. I could have fished somewhere else, but you know, <laughs> someone says he does. Someone says he don't do it that much. I, I like if other people swear whilst live streaming. Like, I wouldn't say it's it's bad. I wouldn't say don't watch them or anything, but. The reason why I don't, I just don't think it sounds good. In real life, do I swear? Yes, I do. But I don't swear nowhere near as much as what I used to. Because I'm live streaming every day, I'm teaching myself when, instead of saying something bad, I'd say, oh, shoot. Or I'd say, oh, that's a kick up the boot. You know, I change them bad words to good words. And by me doing that, uh... It's actually made me not swear as much in real life, which is a good thing. I don't think swearing is, like, it's not good. That's why I always say family friendly. All right, let's get moving. Let's get some fish. I'm going to head down the, to this spot. I'm going to fish all around. I do miss my other boat, though. My DLC boat. Ah, uh, I miss that. Okay, here we are. So, we made a video of me catching here, and we did we did actually do pretty good here at this at this location. But I could just fish pretty much all around this. So let's quickly go around it really slow and see what area it beeps the most, and then wherever it beeps the most, that's where we're gonna where we're gonna cast. We could even try some bait fishing, but I want to do more spinning. I feel like on a boat, that's more the more of the thing that. Could I stand on? I could probably stand on that bit there. He curses once in a while. How oh, does he? So he, he uses bad language then. Again, I ain't got nothing wrong with, with streamers who use bad language. That's, you know, it's their stream. It's their thing. It's totally down to them. It's up to them. Me, myself, I just don't think it sounds good. So I don't. That's why I keep it family friendly myself. Okay, so we've got a bit of fish there. And not just that, but sometimes my kids watch my stream. And I know that there is a lot of people watching my stream right now. And, you know, a lot of you are younger. And there's, a, there's quite a big young generation out there. So, yeah. If I ever did swear or say something bad, I would feel terribly... I would feel so... I don't know. I hope I never do because I always stay family friendly and I never have. And I've been streaming for quite a few years and I have never, never done it. So I don't think I ever would, but if I did, I would be very, very disappointed in myself. I'd feel so bad. I'd probably end the stream and probably go and cry. <laughs> but yeah, I... I don't know how I've managed to control it, but I've controlled it. You've got to change them bad words for something else. All right, I'm going to go on with the popper. The video we did using the popper here was 
awesome. It worked really, really good. We're at 5, 5 p.m. So let's... I don't know if that's going to be a good time. I know I did catch it in the evening. But because I haven't done a lot of boat fishing, I don't know if he is going to be better daytime, afternoon, evening, pitch black. But I have caught some fish in the evening though, so that's, uh, that's at least something, I guess. How's it going, Tony? Hi, man. I watched you because I wanted to see how you make money. I play Fishing Planet, but I don't have no money. This is probably not the best stream, man, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, go for if you're, if you're high enough level, fish in Blue Crab and go for Tarpon. If not, uh, fish Mi Michigan. Michigan's going to help you if you're a low level. Or Sandelta. Florida, depending on what level you are, and sorry I didn't reply to your message straight away man, I was um, I was waffling on there a little bit, I do that sometimes, <laughs> I do do that sometimes, you never watch a stream of that curse, and that as well, I feel like I do bring a bigger audience as well, because I get all different age groups that watch me and they know that they can watch me in comfort and know that I wouldn't say something bad. I've been streaming for quite a while and I've always managed to control. I Sometimes I sit there and I kind of put my hand over my head and I, I will go silent. You know I'm annoyed. Definitely. But I don't... Yeah. I couldn't... I don't like the idea of having any type of swear word. If other people, if I'm ever in it, just to throw it out there, if I ever am in a random room and people start swearing, there's not much I can do about that. I would leave that room straight away and go into a private room if that ever did happen. But if any language bad ever did pop up there, I can't control what other people say. I can control what happens on my stream. So if there was bad language, I could leave that room. Yeah, but I can't control what people say. Sometimes when I go into rooms, some people are really happy to see me because they got YT in the name and yeah, some people are really happy, but then on the other hand, some people, because they got YT there, they don't like it and um, they give me a little grief. <laughs> That's just the way it is. I'm getting a lot of beeping around this part here. Let me just cast straight forward and I'll back it up a little bit. And then we can run it run it through there. I feel like casting beside this is going to work as well. So I'm going to do that in a moment. I feel like that would work well. Yeah, Rocky Rocky Lake's another nice place to fish. White Moose Lakes, if you're high enough level to get White Moose Lake. The XP for the fish are not amazing, but you catch at a really, really fast pace. So therefore... You can catch the fish quicker, you get the XP quicker. You did? I've had a few people over the years say some... Um, some uh, quite surprising things to me. I've got to be honest. I've had a lot of nice things said. But... Uh, I have also had, yeah, I've had some things that ain't so nice, but it is what it is. I don't really pay much attention to anybody who tries trash talking me. It don't, it don't make me angry. I don't know them. If they said it to my face, it'd be a whole different story. So, when people ever say anything bad, I don't pay any attention to that. I always look at the positive, and the positive is when people leave nice comments on videos or if not a video, if we're live streaming and people coming in and having a chat, talking about the game, having having a good time. Yeah, yeah, we do get a few stupid people, but we also do meet quite a lot of nice people. So I'm going to take the good with the bad. There we go. Trophy Peacock Bass. I feel like working along this way. If I'm kind of fishing, if my boat's about there and I cast over this way. I think I would get more interest there. Just because near this grass, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they would be close. And that, that fish finder is still beeping, so. 
I think I think it's a good idea. It's what I really need to do. Let's quickly turn around, rather than fishing behind me and turning at weird angles, would make it a lot easier. You don't really see people fish on cut. Oh, oh wow, man! People people definitely cut on fish and planet. Some people get so mad. I've been called a hacker, a cheater because I'm catching too fast. Um, I've been. Yeah, I've had people report me because I'm catching too fast. They say to me that I'm using some sort of cheat. Like, what What cheat? It, there is no... I don't even think there is even a, any type of hack or anything like that for this game, if I'm completely honest. But, um, yeah, there's a few other words that people have thrown out. I'm not going to I'm not gonna repeat those, but... <laughs> yeah. But not just me though, I've seen other people before, like I'll be fishing in a random room, someone's fishing next to me, they've been, they've been chatting really nice, talking away, I've, they've been asking me what am I using or whatever, I'll be talking to them, they'll be really polite, and then somebody will come else, someone else will come in, fish right next to us, and because they're fishing quite close between me and the guy, the guy, again I'm not going to repeat what he said, but he lost it, he got, he got, he lost it, he got angry, he got really mad. He got so he got so crazy, and that it was kind of shocking to me because he was talking really nice and he seemed really polite and seemed like a nice guy. And then from seeing being like a nice guy, he just turned so angry within a click of a finger. Yeah, and that's just because someone was fishing next to him. Like it don't bother me if someone fishes next to me as long as they're not right in front of me and trying to stop me from fishing or trying to be a pain. If they were being a pain, I could always move to my own session anyway, so. But. Oh, hold on. No, I shouldn't have stopped. I should have carried on reeling. Why did I stop? I stopped for tarpon. I don't need to stop for these fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. I feel like I should try it. Let's try the buzz bait. I have never tried the buzz bait at this location. I could also try a spoon, maybe. No, no, let's go with the buzz bait first. I feel like the buzz bait is, is always a good bait. It's always a good thing to use. The hook, the hook, the hook. <laughs> the hook is optimal. Optimal sizing, so. Wow. The, the hooks. <laughs> what is that, Bubbles? <clears throat> you reported him so many times. Hate it when people stand in the way, <laughs> in your way. Like, yeah, I don't mind fishing with any subscriber or fishing in random rooms or anything like that. I don't care who I fish with. I like to fish with other people to see what else they catch. Again, it don't bother me if they catch fish bigger than me. I don't care. I just like watching their reaction when they catch good fish. And I like it when they catch those big fish. And it gives them a little rush. It's awesome. But sometimes, some people, some people get too angry too fast. <laughs> There's a lot of small fish around here. Wow, there's a lot showing up on the fish finder. Let me keep it like this. See, I could also fish off that. I think I have fished. Did I fish this part? I don't know. I fished so many different places in Blue Crab. A lot of these decks I would normally fish off. It does feel really strange to me though, using a boat. It is fun. It is fun. I do like it, but it does seem strange. Whilst being live... I've always said I wouldn't fish off a boat while being live because of downtime, but it is, it is it's quite satisfying. <laughs> I don't know why it is, but it is. It's, when you get a fish on, it's very satisfying. It feels nice. It feels good. When you're fishing, bait fishing, it's not the same feeling. Unless you pick the rod up and the rod's bent right over and you know it's a monster. <laughs> Other than that, uh, boat fishing, yeah, definitely feels very, very different. He said that you can't catch fish. Yeah, so, some some people. I, I wouldn't listen to what people say, man. Not every like obviously listen to your mum, listen to your dad, and you know your friends, maybe family and stuff. Yeah, listen to those, but. That's what I mean with 
with me being a streamer, as well as obviously me uploading, I've had good, good feedback, but I've also had some really bad. And that bad don't put me off. That bad makes me, it drives me forward. When I, when people cuss me and say, say I look stupid or, yeah, I'm not going to say other words, but when people say that, means nothing to me, man. It means absolutely nothing. They're no, they mean nothing. They just, they're called keyboard warriors. <laughs> That's it. Don't let people get you down, man. If you're around people who are always negative and always in a bad mood, I feel like that's it puts you in that mood. But if you're around people that are cheerful and got energy and they, you know, I feel like, yeah, I feel like that makes you that way. If you're around someone who's moody, it's going to make you feel grumpy. But if you're, around, if you're around people and they've got energy and... They're, they're kind of lively and, you know, makes makes me feel that way. That's how it is for me, anyway. Got a nine-pound fish in front of him. <laughs> there was someone who came into my stream before. I'm not going to say any names. Because, I, I, yeah, I think they are still subscribed. But uh, somebody came into the stream and I was fishing. And I was using mono leaders for catching the tarpon. Is that a large mouth? Yeah. So yeah, I was using mono leaders to catch tarpon. And the guy said to me, uh, like in the stream, in the chat, he said to me, show me your setup. He didn't say please, but I thought I'd just show him anyway. Obviously he wants to know because he wants to use what I'm using. And he said to me, you're using mono leaders. I said, yeah. He said, you're, you're fishing wrong, man. He said to me, he's been fishing a lot longer than what I've been alive. He knows better than me. And I'm not going to say what else, but you kind of get the idea where he was going with that. He's older than me, so he's a better fisherman than me. He knows better. It don't matter how old somebody is. Someone else can, someone younger can be better than me. Someone older can be better than me. But then me, I can be better than someone older. I can be better than someone younger. There's always going to be someone who's better at something than someone else. I reckon I am pretty good at this game. There could be someone who's better than me though as well. Well, not there could be. There probably is. <laughs> there probably is, but... I enjoy it. I make good content. I help people out, and that's what it's about. Enjoying my game, having fun, chatting to people, and uh, helping people... Making the experience of their game better. That's what I like. We're getting a lot of hits on this buzz bait now, though. I definitely like this buzz bait. We're at six. We're not getting massive fish, but we're still catching. That's all that. That's all that matters. So the stream yesterday, we did. Look at that, six hundred twenty-five thousand cash. And before I brought that. The, this bass, this bass boat, and sold the DLC boat. I think we had it was like seven hundred ninety-nine thousand cash. So I'm almost, I'm not far away from it. I'm not far away from pretty much getting this boat for free. That's how much I've grinded it out. I probably could have by now. I probably could have already had my, my money back, but I did buy, I did buy a few other things. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, I brought a few different things. So, uh, what did I buy? I brought a license. I brought a new rod. Um, I brought a new reel. I spent a lot of money on large minnows. <laughs> a lot of money on large minnows, yeah, for sure. So that's why, I, I think I, yesterday, when we ended the stream, I was just over 700,000 cash, so... I did end up burning it for a little bit, but it's all good. But the guy with the tarpon, when I was catching it, he kept saying to change, put on titanium leaders, not to use mono leaders, and said to me I was fishing wrong, I didn't know how to fish. He was older than me and he knew about fishing and I didn't. And after he said that within less than within less than 50 seconds, 
Must have been about 30, 20 seconds. Now let's say a minute. Within about a minute, I had, I had a unique tarpon on at 148 pounds. And he said to me, I didn't know how to fish. And he said to me that I was fishing with mono leaders when I'm supposed to use titanium leaders. They give me fair play to him. He was rude to me, yeah. And he was trying to say that I'm stupid. He's older. He knows better than me. So he was kind of trying to make me look silly. But at the same time, I, I proved him wrong. That was quite satisfying. <laughs> when you can prove someone wrong, that's nice. I don't like to prove people wrong, but... After me playing this game for four years, after four years of me playing this game, I should know what I'm doing. I don't need people to tell me how to fish. I, I don't mind if people like suggest, oh, you could use this, it worked better. I don't mind trying that. I think that's unique. Yeah, personal record. Very nice. Yeah, I don't mind people suggesting different things. I will always try what someone suggests. But when someone tries calling me out, telling me that, they're older than me and I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm doing. There's no need to do that, man. He could have just said to me, you're using the wrong leader. Change it. It'd be better for you. That's all he needed to say, but... He tried to make me look stupid. Not a nice person. You're gonna go? Alright, Judy. Thanks for popping in. Have a good one. Pretty sure I could use some bait here and feel like bait would work pretty good, but the only one thing I haven't done, I have caught a couple of tarpon off this boat. Well actually I say a couple. It was only that tarpon that I caught on that video that we made. <laughs> but uh I would like to catch I would like to catch a good sized tarpon on this boat. Just to see how how much it would pull me all around the lake. Now, I know if I was on the dinghy, that would pull me all over the place and... Yeah, but I don't know. Because this boat is a lot, lot bigger. I don't know if this boat would pull me all, all, over, all around. Well, it's glitched. It's glitched. It's glitched. Look, it says stop and go. Show the fish on. That's horrible when you get that. I feel like I need to back up more. The fish finder keeps beeping a lot, quite a lot around this part. So I need, I need, I need to move back. Wow, look at that. I almost, I almost had a fish on there. I don't feel like I could, I can troll pretty, yeah, I, I can't troll very well with this boat. I don't know why. I could cast it out and just keep reversing but yeah I'm just not I could try that actually I could try that that'd be pretty awesome we could try that I could go over to the other part where there's a lot of straight I could put the boat in reverse oh no it probably wouldn't let me jump on the boat though would it no, forget that idea It wouldn't let me jump up front, it would stop moving. That's why I like the dinghy. The dinghy, I can leave the boat running and stand on it and it keep moving, but... I don't think there's a way that I can put this boat in reverse and... Come up on, on the front here on the deck and... For it to keep going in reverse, I don't think it can... It, it, it'll work. I don't know. Oh, I had a hit there, I missed it. Fish finder again. There's definitely a lot of fish around here, that's for sure. So, definitely a good hot spot. I could probably run it across the top of the water as well. Hmm. 
Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt it in a moment. We'll have one more cast. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to try and troll on this boat. Don't expect anything amazing because <laughs> I've not tried it before on this boat, so I don't know how well I don't know how well it's gonna go, but we we definitely can try it. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try it here. We get, we're gonna need to get a big big amount of straight. So we're head over to the other location, and then I see if I'm able to troll on it. I might be able to if I if I keep it as reverse and just stand on it. I'll have to keep I'll have to keep the uh, analog stick down so that way we can keep moving. Definitely got a lot of hits at this location though. Alright. Let's try it. Let's try it to troll this boat. Let's see if I can do it. Alright, so we jump over to this location. And then we head back to that location. So we don't have to drive all the way back around. Save ourselves a lot of time. And then we'll, we'll go down there. Because there, there's a lot of straight that way. And then see if I'm able to troll... I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're trying. Okay, let's turn it, turn it around slowly. There we go. Okay, so that's now minus seven. Look how slow that's moving. When I put it on minus one on the dinghy, that moves, moves a lot faster than that. But then this is a big boat. Now if I hit X, I bet it's going to end up stopping it. Yeah. That's a pain. That is a pain. Alright, well, anyway. What we'll do is we'll cast out. we got to try it. Because I've never tried it. So we got to put it on max real speed. If you don't put it on max real speed and you get a hit. You'll end up losing the fish. Yeah, I put no, that's too slow. We're moving well too slow. I heard my phone go off somewhere. I don't know where it is. It went off somewhere. No, that's too slow. I can't I can't troll like that. There's no way. What about if I keep doing that? Can I get twitching going or something? If I can get some kind of motion going, then possibly. No. It's not going to get... Okay, if I keep it like that, is it going to come up? No, it's going to be stuck on the bottom. How am I supposed to troll on this boat? I don't get it. Like, the only thing I can do is just... It's just keep on reeling in a little bit, keep going back, but... There's there's a pain though, and I can't do it forward as well. I'm pretty sure I can't. Let me try. This is why I like the this is why I like the dinghy. Okay, two percent. No. No trolling for us. Not in this boat anyway. Yeah, it works. It does work really well using the dinghy, but shame it don't do. It. Shame it don't do it for this. I did come through all here yesterday as well, and have a look around through there. I had a few, but. I didn't have much. So we could get some big tarpon. But as well as that. We have never fished that spot on the live. This one here live. We've done that loads. Now I know we're on a boat. So it's technically not the same. Because we're not using bait rods. But 
We have never ever fished. I've made so many videos of over here showing these good hot spots here for the flounder, for the tarpon and the other fish here. But I've never never fished here live, so let's uh give it a shot I guess. Hope for the best. We do get a lot around here though, so might not be so bad. Real speed too. Let's see if we can try and hook up some big fish. I'd like to get a couple of big tarpon. I'm not really, really bothered if I don't get a massive fish, but I do want to get a couple of big tarpon just so that way I can see how much this boat pulls me around. Yeah, I do too, man. I do too. And a boat to allow you, your friend to get on the boat. I wish that was a thing. Is that black drum? Yeah. Nice. That's a little... Whoa, look at that. It's speeding up. It's spinning around. <laughs> that made me dizzy. Wow. That started spinning around really quick. <laughs> that actually made my eyes look, go really funny. I think it's the reflection from the glasses. Yeah, it's a shame they don't allow other people to get on a boat, but there was there was whispers that apparently uh, they are going to be doing that. They are going to be adding um, for you to you have to obviously request to ask your friend if you're allowed to get in their boat. I I hope they bring a bigger boat where you can get like five people on it, and I could get other subscribers on the boat. That'd be so much fun, man! Like I could not think of anything more fun than that. But on this, like there's more seats, but it would be a little bit crowded on this boat. So I feel like they need to bring, they need to bring a bigger boat where you're able to put your rods on the boat, able for other people to get on the boat, obviously ask permission. And if you accept it, you are then let that person get on your boat and fish with you. That'd be so cool. It really would be so good. Now apparently on the Fisherman's Fishing Planet, again I've never played it, haven't really looked at any videos on it either to be honest, because I've just never, yeah, I've never, I felt like it wasn't very good for the fact that you have to start an account all over again, I didn't like the idea of that, so. You're definitely getting a lot of interest around here. Hopefully, you never know, we could even hook up the odd, um, uh, flounder as well. I keep ca catching a lot of the trophy flounder. I haven't caught any unique flounder yet. To be honest, I haven't spent too much time trying to go for it. Real time, I probably only spent about 30 minutes trying to get it. But then I gave up. I just felt like it was it was too long. But I do keep catching a lot of southern flounder here. A lot of trophy, but we still yet need to find... I missed that. Yeah, we still yet need to find that uh, unique somewhere hiding. It's hiding there somewhere. Oh, I missed it again. No way. Be really nice though. Even if you could only put two rods, put two rods on your boat. Someone else get on your boat. They they may be able to put two rods out. Put one rod in your hand. Even though it's not as many as what you could put a rod, rod stand down, obviously it's not as much, but it would still be good to put rods out and just troll all around the lake. I'd love that. I can do that on the dinghy, but by me doing that on the dinghy, I have to keep on... At some point, I do have to keep on moving the dinghy around. Like, I have to turn it around when I come from one lake to the other lake, and... Um, when I get a fish on, because the fish is always a big fish, it pulls the boat out of a straight line, so I then have to line it back up again, which is a little bit of a pain. But the dinghy is still fun to, to troll off, though. Until they actually bring something that you can troll properly, if they never do, I will still mess around with that dinghy. Still, still good fun. Yeah, that's a nice place to fish, man. What are you going for there? You catching walleye or you catching um, you going for pike?
I don't know what the weather was like for you guys today, but for me, it's been absolutely crazy hot. It's been really, really hot. I keep on having moments where I feel nice and cool, and then all of a sudden I'm like, whoa, I feel that heat. <laughs> now, when I fish that place, I normally go for, there you go, tarpon, nice. No, I don't go for tarpon. I, <laughs> I normally go for the pike when I'm there. I feel like I catch pike really fast. See, if I let the, if I let the boat go up real close to the fish, I'm just going to bring it in really easy. So every now and again, I'm going to keep pressing down, so that way I get that little bit more of a fight with the fish. Oh, it's raining by you, but it was hot yesterday. Yeah, I, I, I think that's what we really need here, man. We really need some rain, big time. That That is what we need. Clear the air a little bit. It's nice today though. Yesterday it was like really humid. It kind of is like that a little bit today, but there's that little bit of wind there. And that little bit of wind really helps. It really, really helps. I hate heat. I can't do heat. Somewhere cold, I'm fine. No, oh, there we go. Red drum. It's not a bad little spot for the fact that we're at 7, 7 p.m. as well. We're getting closer towards the time of the flounders, which they seem to appear more at night than what they do day, so. We might end up getting, as well as getting some red drum and the odd tarpon, and maybe we'll even we'll probably grab a few permit with it as well. We might be able to get that flounder. If I did catch a flounder, I'd be very surprised if it turned out to be unique. Like, I would be surprised. As I say, I didn't spend loads of time trying to catch one. But every single person that I've spoke to, and every single person who's asked me if I've caught one, <laughs> they've all said the same thing. They're very, very hard to catch. They are very hard to catch. I'm pretty sure I could catch one if I put the time in and just... Instead of, uh, when I finished the live stream, instead of me editing a video and I just come on here and just kept trying to catch it, I'm pretty sure I could. I'm very sure I could, but it's too much time. Too, yeah, too much time consumed. In that time, I could be doing so much more. I don't want to spend around about four or five hours plus in real time trying to catch one fish. Not when, within that time, I could have earned nearly 300,000 cash. No way. I definitely like this spot though. Really good. And we got a cat. I didn't ever think I'd ever see myself doing a live stream on a boat. On on, on any boat in Fishing Planet. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I just... Because of the downtime, but it's not, we have had a bit of downtime, but it's not been too, too bad. It's not been as bad as what I thought. We have still caught fish. Obviously, not even half as quick as what we normally would, but at least we still catch. That's the main thing. Seven seventeen. So I think around about anything after eight pm. I think after eight pm is going to be the the good time for the flounder. I think it was anything. Was it like was it eight or nine? I forgot. <laughs> it could have been eight. I don't know. Oh wow, I, I had two hits there and I missed them both. There we go. 
So we get a lot of drum around here. It's not a bad thing, but there's definitely a lot around here. No idea what happened with the music there. I had another hit, I missed it. It seems so weird me fishing. I'm not fishing in in a random room at the moment. Right now I'm actually in a private room and it, it's so weird. Me not seeing what other people are catching. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna go, we'll head into a random room and we'll see if, hopefully um, there's not gonna be too, if there's too many people where we're fishing and then we can always move. But it, it is really strange. I have no idea what was going on there. It's really strange fishing and not seeing other people catch fish. It's really, yeah, it feels so strange to me. having a lot of loading issues recently as well with this game I feel like I'm not the only person oh there you go look at that nice unique bonefish 16 and a half pound very nice there you go someone else is fishing here it's all right though we're not in their way so oh okay we're oh, yeah no we're good it's, yeah all right we're good I think we're we're probably in just the perfect spot <laughs> I just don't want to get in people's way. When you when you get in people's way, sometimes people get real mad. Okay, this could be flounder. Yes. Is it unique? No. Oh wow, it's trophy there. That's our new personal record. Come on, we need unique. I don't honestly think that I'm going to catch it, to be fair. I don't, I don't think I am. <laughs> I don't think I will, but it doesn't matter if I don't. As long as I catch something. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, as long as I'm catching something, and then I don't, I don't, it doesn't bother me. We're still earning money. I should really set a marker as well because I've never set a marker down this way. Just so that way I've got a rough idea where I'm casting rather than just always. I always just come here and just cast randomly. Let me set a marker. There we go. Just so that way I know. Because that, that fish. That fish is a pain to catch. That is, yeah, it's, it's really hard work to try and catch it. Oh wow. I pressed the wrong button twice. <laughs> I feel like the stop and go works good as well. I've tried running across the water and stuff. Me running across the water ain't too bad when I'm trolling in a boat, but when I'm when I'm trying to fish like this for these these flounder, I feel like stop and go works best. I could be wrong though. As I say, I haven't fished for them nowhere near as much as what I have other fish, and I haven't done testing nowhere near as much as what I have with other ones. Oh, nobody saw that. Uh, catch you later, Dominic. Have a good one, man. Let me drop the anchor. Just so that way we don't move. We're in a good, we're in a good spot. <sighs> okay. Wish me luck. Hopefully we can get that, to get that unique tarpon, it'd be very nice. 
Let's see if we can. The unique tarpon? No, unique flounder. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, it happens. It happens to the best of us. I feel like we might use bait as well. And maybe bait. Maybe bait. I could end up catching it with bait. I've never tried catching flounder with the bait as well. So I could try that. Let's have a look, see what bait it likes to eat. Dress quicker. You might get smaller fish, possibly, but let's use the mouse again. So much better for accuracy. There we go. Reel in a little bit. I think 80 foot there is pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. 
That looks good. <laughs> Some strange things happen sometimes whilst uh, fishing with other people, for sure. I like seeing that though. That, that does look good. <laughs> oh no, I moved. Because I was watching him. change music that's near enough at the end that one anyway <laughs> oh well let me recast it just in case the bait's gone and then I can quickly eat whilst we're waiting I feel like I should plug in a mouse for my, when I play on PS4. The accuracy is so much better. I might do that at some point. I think it would be good. Come on. Do it for the stream. Do it for YouTube. Do it for the content. There we go. So I got the anchor down, I'm going to keep the anchor down, because I am in a good position, I don't want to keep on resetting position every time. Unfortunately we're not going to get pulled all over the place, but I don't mind that. I'll be spending more time repositioning the boat than what I will actually fishing. I am going to use the spinner again on the next day, but for the moment, I'm trying just to see if I can get that unique by using bait here. I should have went halfway instead of going from a 6 to a 4, I should have went to a 5. That's what I should have did. Yeah, I, I should have did that. <laughs> Right, we'll wait, we'll wait for a moment. If nothing, then we'll change it. I hear that fish finder beeping though. Maybe I don't even need to, let me reel in a little bit closer. I might not even need to cast that far. Let's do about 40 feet, 39. Oh, there you go, I've got some interest. Maybe it's gone. The rod's vibrating. No, now it's stopped. No, now it's back. There we go. So I don't need to cast that far out then. <clears throat> Let me see if I got a hook five. I think that would be a little better. I don't think I have though. Yeah, I haven't. It's not really a hook that I would normally use, and I don't think I can buy it here. Or can I? Let's see. Oh, I can. It shows that I've got it. Alright. Let's try the five. Just to see if I can. The six... I felt like the six was too big. The four, I feel like that's a little too small. So if we go in between that, the five might be the the hook that we're looking for. The six, it kept, we kept having bites, but it didn't take it. The four, we've had a few bites not taken and a few bites. We have got it, but they've only been small fish. So if I put on the five, I'm hoping we're going to grab the unique flounder. I'm hoping. We'll see. <clears throat> Let me reel in closer again. Because we actually did have a hit really close, pretty quick. If I, if I get another hit there, 
pretty fast, so then I set another point for that. I set another marker there. Oh wow. Okay, that's a good spot then. <clears throat> I had interest there, I think it's gone though. But I did have interest. Oh, the rod's vibrating again. Oh, the rod's vibrating, my controller is. <laughs> No, it's gone. It did that last time and it come back though. No, I think it's definitely gone this time. Get that unique flounder. Well, I'll be, I will be really, really chuffed with that for sure. It's a hard fish to catch, <clears throat> and I don't know why it's so hard to catch. I really don't. I've had so many trophies, so many standard size, but never that unique. I, I really forgot. I don't know if it was between eight and nine p.m. where it was good, or, or whether it was nine or ten but there was a certain when I was fishing here for them before I was catching them and it was like within a certain hour okay I had some interest there again maybe this five hooks not right because it keeps I keep getting interest with it but it's not taken maybe I can't use the five got interest again Controller's vibrating. And that stopped. That's when you know the hook's not right. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to waste any more time on that. Let me change the hook. I'm going to try the 6 one more time. I'll try the 6 one more time. If I'm using a if I'm using a six, let me use the. There we go. Yeah, if I'm using a six hook, I'm hoping that's gonna get. I'm pretty sure the six hook would get a unique. I'm pretty sure it would. If I've got if I've got a trophy on using the four, there is a good possibility I could get unique using the hash four. But me using the six. I might avoid the smaller fish and just get that big fish but we'll see if it just if the controller vibrates if we get a hit then we know it's all right but if we don't and the controller just vibrates so then I know I've got to take the hook size down okay the controllers vibrating still vibrating is it gonna take it no it stopped that's such a shame. By me using that bigger hook, it would have been so much better. Could have just caught that unique so much quicker, but I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, control is vibrating again. Come on. No, no, it stopped. Let me reel in really slow. See if we come across something. I definitely need to. I'm gonna have to put on the the go back with the four hook. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go to the four. This is not gonna work. The five I would have thought would have been good. The six being too big and the four being kind of small. Okay, let me put on the X series hook. That might help a little bit. I very much doubt it. <laughs> but you never know. If I could try and make that one little bit better. And last time I did try and catch these. These flounder. Last time I went to catch them. I was using. Uh, I was using titanium leaders. This time I'm using mono leaders. And yet we have still caught flounder. So. 
I don't think the leader makes really any difference. Yeah, I don't think it makes that much of a difference, to be honest. So, I'm just going to have to... We're just... i just wait for a few seconds. Well, it, what, oh, okay. That popped up. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, whilst we're waiting for that, I'm going to quickly post out a video. Just because we normally post a video at around about 6. But because I started the stream a little bit later today, I'm going to quickly just drop, drop one of our videos. Okay, there we go. So I set myself a challenge. I've literally just posted out a video. But I set myself a challenge. And the reason why I did that is because I, I know here in Blue Crab Island you can catch really, really fast. You, as long as you've got the, stu the right stuff, the right setup, you can catch really fast. So I set myself a challenge to try and catch a unique gar and a unique snook within under 10 minutes in the same location in the same place uh, in Blue Crab Island so you, you can always you can even check that video out now if you wanted or you could wait until the stream ends and you could check that video out but yeah I uh, set myself a challenge and it was pretty good oh okay just as I went to move it we had some interest there we go Fish on. Oh wow, okay, it's good fish. It's a good fish. Good, good fish. I could, whoa, okay. I don't think I've ever had a fish this big whilst um, being on the boat. I'm guessing it's gonna be drum though because of that. And I don't think that's gonna be flounder. It's probably gonna, yeah, it's drum. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be unique drum. That's crazy though. With the four hook, I would normally catch them unique drum using the the nine hook. That's crazy. On a four hook compared to a nine, that's a very big difference in hook size. Oh, it's red drum, not black drum. It's still unique though. I know it is. There we go. Not massive, but unique is unique. Let me see if I can use this mouse. Reposition right back there. Just because that's where I caught the the trophy flounder. I'm hoping that that spot's going to pull me in the unique. Normally when you get trophy, unique normally does follow. So... Hopefully that does work. Okay, the chat was lagging a little bit. Just gotta, I gotta. Okay, I was gonna no, forget that. I was gonna say I gotta come off my music and do what, do something real quick. But anytime we get a hit, I gotta make sure I don't miss it. I really want to see if I can trigger that unique. Even if I don't get it, we're still getting some some other fish, so it doesn't it doesn't bother me too bad. The accuracy, I really can't get it right with the controller. <clears throat> oh, there we go, 80 foot. All right, so I just need a really quick. Um, I gotta quickly just post that video out onto Twitter just so that way people can see it. It seems so it seems so weird not hearing music. It seems too quiet. <laughs> That's what happens when I always have music. I hear the fish finder going there. Not any interest on the rod though. integrates 
Oh wow, okay, we, I don't want that. That's the wrong thing. Oh, there we go. It might be a little loud. Take it down a little bit. Uh, I think I'm almost done with fishing for these flounder. It's been slow. I'm going to recast one last time. This is it now. Now or never. Now I'm never going to fish for these flounders again. <laughs> I was going to actually make a video. like Because everybody always asks how, how and where to catch the unique flounder. It's definitely got to be this spot. Not that I've caught unique here. But that I've caught so many trophy of them flounder. So if I've caught a lot of trophy flounder. I know... Anytime you catch any type of trophy fish, the unique does follow not long after, so I'm really hoping that we're gonna get it. But I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> and I don't want to spend too much time doing it. Alright, so my control is vibrating. Come on. Come on. Unique. Unique flounder, please. Do it for the stream. No, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not spending any more time on that. I know I did, we did, we did catch trophy flounder using this buzz bait though, so. I could have a few casts with this. And see, see with this if anything if anything happens, we might be able to catch it with this. I was just trying to use bait to catch it because I would have thought that bait. If it's, it could be the same as the the permit though. The permit you can't catch that as unique anymore on bait. You used to be able to. No way, it glitched. That was that was a crazy glitch. I don't know what what was that. What's that there? Okay, that was really weird. What's that in the water? It's glitching. I see like a fish spinning around. Look at that. Do you guys see that? That fish. What is going on? <laughs> I've seen some weird glitches in my time on this game, but I've never seen that. Alright, it weren't a glitch. It weren't a glitch. Ignore that. It's this guy right here. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's a little bit on the embarrassing side. But, good job there ain't too many people to see it. <laughs> I had no idea there was someone beside me. I had no idea. I shouldn't expect people to be around, around near here anyway. Because I'm in a random room, so... That was so strange. I don't really think I've fished here much after 9 p.m. at this location, so I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be any good. So I'm not going to fish here too long, and then oh, we'll jump to the next day. I'm going to now. I'm too impatient. I got to catch fish. We're not getting anything there. Alright, cloudy day. Let's try the cloudy day. Sunny day worked. See if we, we can get some. I know if I move over that way more, I'll get more tarpon. A little bit more over that way. But, I'm not really after tarpon today. Today I want to try and catch something other than tarpon. I, always, I catch so much tarpon. So, yeah, trying to mix it up a little bit so we catch something else. My new biggest tarpon, though, is 152 pounds, so that's pretty good. It's a good size. Oh, I missed it twice. You're kidding me. They do take on this, so I wonder if it says 
I wonder if it says there what type of lure it likes. Or whether it just says bait. Okay, prefer soft look, soft baits, shads, worms, grubs. Hmm. Okay. So I do have a shed. I could try that, but that one's four, uh, two to four. This hook's five. Let's try this. I don't know. I don't think I've ever actually used this one, to be honest. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, let's see if we get any interest with this one. I, I think I used the red one of this, and I used the white one, and that was that was okay. That did work, but I don't think I've ever used this one, this color, this goldy one, or whatever. I think it's like a goldy color. There we go. Okay, so it does work. Have a red drum. So my, my plan is to try and get drum, if not, then the flounder. I would prefer to get the flounder just because I want to try and catch it as unique. But I think I got to fish more in the night time for the flounder rather than the day. I don't think it's going to work, but you never know. And me the fish night time, the pace is definitely a lot slower. So I could always try and catch that fish in my own time. But whilst doing it live, yeah, not so good because there'd be too much downtime. There'd be less, I'd be more casting than actually catching. <laughs> that's not, that's not entertaining. It's not good. I'm going to... Let's have one cast running it across the top of the water. Because sometimes that is good. Let's do that. The only thing is though, by me trying that, I know I'm not going to get flounder like that. The flounder are going to be lower to the ground, lower to the bottom rather than being up on the top like that so maybe not <laughs> i'm just thinking of different things that does work though when you're trolling along there in the boat running it across the top of the wall that does work really good Maybe I should move forward just a little bit, maybe. Just so I can cast a little bit past that that spot there. I don't want to go too far forward because I don't want to keep on getting loads of tarpon. But just a little bit. Okay. It would help if we took off the anchor. There we go. I know if I cast more over that way, I'm going to get tarpon, so I'm going to stick over this side. We probably, I might end up running into a couple tarpon because I am kind of close to it, but not actually on it. But I don't, I don't want to, if I can help it. The tarpon will just fill my net too quick. I try and set myself a task to catch a certain fish. Then I dedicate myself to it. And I, it's good that I do that because it shows where to catch certain fish. And not just this place, obviously, when we do it in other lakes. It's good that we do it because it does show where to catch them fish. But sometimes, sometimes I can spend too much time trying to catch them. Like insane amount of time. We call that in really close.
and I'm using this yellow buzz bait as well because I have used the other buzz baits, they do work. I'm pretty sure most of you know that by now anyway, blue crab's not exactly a new lake anymore, but yeah. I've tried using the black one, I tried using the white one. I don't I do catch with them, but it doesn't seem like I catch nowhere near as quick as what what I do with this yellow one. I, I could tr I could maybe try a spoon. Maybe a spoon might be all right. Wow, that was in real close again. There's literally a good spot for that for them drum. That was right about here, around here. Okay, let's try something else. That buzz bait does work, but I want to see. Hmm. I don't think the. Alright, let's try the swim bait. Let's see what happens. I'm interested to know. Oh wow, that one can really, really go far. That, that's. It might be too far. Maybe I shouldn't cast that far. I probably will run into tarpon otherwise coming coming that far out, but I don't know how well this swim bait is going to work. I've tried this swim bait in a few different lakes and it has been pretty good, but I haven't tried this swim bait in this in blue crab and I definitely haven't tried it at this location as well, so we'll have to see, see if we get any interest with it. I'm using the yellow one first because when I'm in the Maku Lake and we've used this, this works really, really good in that lake. Like insanely fast. A lot of people say the purple one's good, but I haven't had much luck with it. Again, I do catch with it and I do with the white one, but this yellow one, yeah, I definitely catch so much quicker. But no interest there though. Nothing even tried to take it. Let's have another cast. Then give up straight away. If nothing happens, we'll try one of the other swim baits. We'll have a few casts for that. See if one of them get us interest. I have used this swim bait over at where we caught the the uniques, the unique peacock and the unique largemouth. Over at that location, I it does work over there, but this is the first time we're using it here. And it doesn't look like it's very good. Okay, that's why we always have a second cast and I shouldn't speak too soon. <laughs> I have no idea what it's going to be though. Oh, wow, striped bass, okay. Oh, beautiful. I always get nervous when it does that because it's done that a few times and my game just stays like that. Then I have to shut the game down and resell it back up. I can do that, it's not a problem, but I then just have to go through all the loading process again. <laughs> Always makes me nervous when it when it comes up that. I'm quite surprised they got striped bass with it though. At least we know we can get striped bass using this. So this might be good off the, straight off the dock using this swim bait. And that could be another good place to use it. Again, I haven't tried there. I did try at the, the main tarpon location. It didn't work too good. Yeah, it didn't work very well at all, actually, <laughs> if I'm honest. But we could definitely try it off the deck. If we can catch striped bass with it. Okay, we can also get drum with it, so that's good. Nice. As I said, nice. Somebody else said nice. They must know. They must know it's good. <laughs> They're not talking to me. <laughs> no, 
now. Let's see if we can try and. Uh, I, I don't mind at this point. I don't mind either if we grab maybe, maybe a unique bass or. I definitely would love the unique um, flounder. Definitely, <laughs> I definitely would. But I can't see it happening. But you never know. Especially not at this time. If I was later in the evening, then it could be different. I should maybe jump to the evening and try it and see. You never know, it might work. So the yellow one definitely works. So let's try. We're try the white one and then we'll try the purple one. See if we see if we get more interest. But the fact we know it works, that's a good thing. But using one of the other swim baits, it might work faster. So let's try the white one. The hook is a little bit smaller. It's a four. I don't have the five hook on this one. Also on the swim bait, when you hit level 60, it's not until you level 60. But when you hit level 60, it then gives you a... Uh, it gives you the swim bait, the white... No, not the white. The black and yellow one. What we was just using. It gives you that as as a, as the six hook. I've used the five a lot. I haven't. I forgot to bring it with me. <laughs> Otherwise, we could have used that six. We could have used the six here and try it. I could have also. I definitely want to try that six in in Maku Lake as well because I haven't tried the six. So we know the five's good as well. We got that hit pretty quick. There's a tarpon. We don't want tarpon. I will take it because we need cash, but we don't want tarpon. I feel like I catch tarpon every day. I do fish blue crab quite a bit. Don't worry, we are going to be fishing some more of the new lake. But... I just fall back to here because me using the boat. This is the first time me ever using the boat. Well, not the very first time. That's a lie. I have obviously made videos of me being on it, but whilst being live, I have never ever fished off a boat. I've always done bait fishing all the time. I feel like the the spinning there's too much downtime, and it's not it's not entertaining. I like to try and keep it where we keep on catching fish after fish and doing that off a boat is kind of hard because you're only using the one rod compared to using four rods four bait rods and then me normally messing around with a spinning rod it's a big difference you can definitely catch a lot faster <laughs> you can definitely catch a lot faster using bait rods for sure I do enjoy fishing off the boat though Alright, last cast with this one, and then after we'll put on the purple swim bait, and we'll try that. So the purple swim bait, I think I've got the four, the four and the five hook for that. So I'm just going to go straight with the five, and see if that gives us any more interest than what that yellow one did. At least we know the yellow one does work here, and the white one does, because we've caught with both of them. I just want to see which swim bait catches quicker though. It's good they all work, but there's going to be one that works better than the other one. In the other lakes, it is the yellow and the white. Ye uh, yellow and ye black, sorry. Didn't have, I did catch fish with the yellow, uh, the, just the white one and purple, but not, not at a very quick pace. See, with this one, because it's only a four hook, I don't feel... I don't feel like I would catch a very big fish with that. And I am level 60, but it won't let me buy this swim bait. I can't buy the swim bait. Unless I can back out of this place and go to the main menu. Which is quite time consuming, so I'm not going to do that. But we are definitely going to be trying that 6 though. We'll try it tomorrow. In the stream that we do tomorrow, we'll definitely try it. After this, after this stream, I'm going to make sure that I buy it and I put it into my storage. Just so that way I don't forget for tomorrow. 
Because otherwise, tomorrow, I, every time I, I set up a stream, I'm always in a rush. Because I'm always pushing against time. I'm always pushing against time. So because of that, I need to... If I do it, if I do it tonight, I won't forget tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll probably head over to the new lake. Even though we've shown all hot spots there and all the fish there, but we haven't used that the swim bait with the six hook. We've only used the five hook, so we'll head over there and see if we can catch some some fish using that one. Okay, no interest yet on this purple one. Oh, there we go. Oh no, it's tarpon. Greedy tarpon. I don't mind, I do need cash, so it's not all bad, but it's not the fish I'm going for. That's not too bad. 80 pound tarpon on a hash five. That's pretty decent. Probably the smallest hook I've ever used for a tarpon, and yeah, normally I use six or nine. No, well, normally I use both. On two rods, I normally put two six hooks, and then on the other two rods, I put two nine. That's a big fish for such a small hook there. Come on. I'm not sure. I think I think maybe the yellow and black one is better. I think. I feel like we had more interest with that one. And it did work like that in, in the Maku Lake as well. Me using the black and the yellow one. We definitely had more interest with that compared to the purple and the white one. Okay, let's change back to the yellow one then. See, I do have a free of that, but I don't. I don't want a free because that's too. That's too small. It's going to pull us in too many. We probably would catch faster using that, but it would pull us in a lot smaller fish. Then we don't want smaller fish. I don't mind any fish really, but if I can avoid them, well, then I'm going to. <laughs> This is a good little spot though, I do like fishing here. It's not been too bad Gary, it's been pretty good actually man. I didn't think I would ever be doing a live stream fishing on a boat. Just because uh, downtime and stuff. I like to try and keep it entertaining but and catch fish really fast. But I can't really, I do struggle to do that whilst being on a boat. Like, it's been good because we have had quite a few uniques and have caught a lot of different fish. So, it's been, it has been good. But the struggle is real, though. Just fishing off a boat. <laughs> it's not too bad doing it in my own personal time, but yeah, while well, doing it live, it's very hard for me to keep them fish coming at a very fast pace. It's not easy. But normally when I fish on this boat, on, on any boat that I own, normally when I fish off it, it's never for very long. Because I just don't have time. I, I'm always needing XP, or if not XP, I'm always going to need cash for the next update to bring that good content. So, I've always got to do bait fishing. The only time I normally use just spinning is just when, when I've got the bait rods out. But it's good to be on the boat. It's nice. I like that it pulls you all around as well. That's pretty good. I've got the anchor down at the moment. Because otherwise it would just pull me all over the place. Which it is cool when it does that. But it's not cool in some way. Because I have to then keep backing up all the time. <clears throat> Alright. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move forward just a little bit more. 
because I do remember catching some fish just over that way a little bit. Take our anchor off. Drop our anchor. There we go. Just so that way we get that little bit further of a cast. I remember catching fish over over this way as well, near that. Let's see if we get any more interest now. Now we're casting a little bit in a different place rather than the same place. We're still going to end up coming across here, so we're still at that marker that we set. But casting that little bit further out there, maybe we might, might grab a different fish, possibly. I don't think this works faster than the buzz bait, though. I think, I think the buzz bait does work quicker than this swim bait. It's good that it still works and it's good that we tested it, just so we do know, but I think the buzz bait works faster. It's really hard to get the stop and go on three dots as well. It's really difficult. Right, let's have another another shot with a buzz bait then. Now we've moved over a little bit. We might get something else. Um, uh, okay, that's classed as red and yellow. I said gold. <laughs> that was a little bit of a misjudgment, but it looks like a goldy colour. Yeah, we can't cast as far as with the buzz bait. That's the only problem, but we have moved the boat a little bit, so let's see if anything happens. Now it's 6.26 a.m. as well. I should maybe take time forward. I'm after flounder, so I'm not going to catch it early morning. That froze for so long. Okay, 8 p.m. I think it's 8 p.m. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Let's uh, let's see what happens. Let's see if we can. I'm pretty sure I could catch could catch it as unique on this buzz bait. If I've caught it as trophy, there there should be no reason why I can't catch it as unique. I think just a lot of a lot of time put in, and I will. Yellow and red buzz bait, okay. And the yellow lava. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh, that was so glitchy. The amount of times I strike there. Didn't hook. No uni yet. They're a very hard fish to catch, man. Very, very hard to catch. I'm very sure I could catch one if I put more time into it, but I feel like catching them as unique is very, very time consuming. The time that I I spend trying to catch them, I could I could have made two or three videos within that time. If it weren't so time consuming to try and catch one, then I probably would put more effort to to catch one. I'm only catching one now just because I'm on the boat and I'm here and I'm at this spot. But as well as trying to catch some of those flounder, I'm also going to get a few drum as well. So I don't mind catching. I don't mind catching black drum or red drum. <clears throat> they do put up a good fight as well. I don't, I just don't want tarpon. Most of the time when I live stream, it is us always catching those big massive monster fish. And when I do come to Blue Crab, again, most of the time 
I am fishing tarpon, catching big tarpon. So it's pretty good to to fish off the boat, and it's good that I'm trying to catch something else other than the same fish. I think it was between eight and nine. It was either between eight and nine, or it was between nine and ten. That's when the the flounder was around. So this is drum. They do put up a good fight, these drum, though. Especially when you get a, a big unique. Like, that was only 40, uh, 49 pounds and a half. And yeah, that did put up a good fight. You catch them at like 90 odd pound plus. That really does give you a good fight. I feel like they fight just as good as what the tarpon do, them, them black drum. I don't mind getting some of those. I just want to try and avoid the tarpon more than anything. I know if I cast a little bit more to my left, I would definitely would be getting a lot of tarpon. That's why I'm not. <clears throat> I did try using medium cut bait as well. Because it said that they, they like medium cut bait. But I didn't have much luck. Didn't have much luck with that. Permit. I'm surprised they haven't had
on the console, but clearly not on PC. I thought I did. So this is the last, the last reel now with this buzz bait, and then I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put on the medium cut bait. We use our bait rod, and see if we can try and catch that unique flounder. It'd be awesome if we do. That buzz bait's working really good now, though. The time that we're at. Go on, be unique. Be unique. Oh, it makes me want to stay using the buzz bait because. We keep on getting bigger and bigger with these. I'm going to stick with it. I'm just going to stick with it because we haven't had trophy on the bait, but we have had trophy on this buzz bait. So I'm going to stick with it. There's an old saying, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. It's not broke, it's working, so... Oh, missed it. <laughs> yeah, good luck, man. Have a good one. I'll catch you later. Thanks for coming into the stream. Gotcha. Come on. Please. They make my day. No, okay, maybe not. <laughs> it, that would make my day if I got that. I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't have much sleep tonight because I'd be buzzing. I really would. It is a seriously hard fish to catch. It really is. If you've never tried catching it, or you don't have anything to do in Fishing Planet, try catch this flounder. That'll, that'll consume a good few weeks of your life, or even a few months. Could even get to a few years. <laughs> they are very hard to catch, very hard. Oh, there you go. Someone just had a, a unique permit. 62 pound and a half. Nice. That's nice. Oh, wow. I striked that so wrong, but I still got it anyway. We don't want drum. That was 36 pound and a half. I keep pressing it too quick. With them fish, if it's not a fish that I want, then I'm not going to pay that much interest to it. It's the flounder. I really want unique. Come on. As I say, when, it, when this when this map first come out, I did... I don't know exactly how much time I did put into it, but I did try and catch them before. I don't know why, but... Well, actually, I do know why. Where I live in the UK, I can catch flounder. And yeah, for the fact that I can catch them in real life, I can I can catch flounder. I really like the idea that you could catch flounder in this place. Like that made me think, okay, I definitely want to catch some of those because I can catch them in real life. I'd like to catch them on the game, but they're very hard fish. They're very hard fish to get. I think I probably would have better luck if, which I can't, but if I was able to put bait rods out, put medium cut bait on all of them, spread them out, and mess around with this buzz bait as well, I'm very, very sure that I'd have a good, good chance of catching it, but there's nowhere. You can only stand on your boat around this area, which is such a shame. It's such a good spot to fish, but at the same time, you can only use that one rod. When I'm using this one rod like th this, it makes me feel like I'm playing the game when it first come out, because that's how it used to be. That's how it used to be like that. It's good that times have changed. <laughs> Just using that one rod all the time. I don't know if I could do that live stream in all, every every day. Just using one rod playing this game. I don't know if I could do that every day. Especially for the fact that you do get a little bit of downtime sometimes. And 
you're not catching. It would drive me insane. <laughs> it would, it, yeah, I, I don't think I could do that. So I'm definitely glad that they made changes. There's also another thing actually that I forgot to mention. I was meant to mention at the beginning of the stream and I actually didn't. But they are adding, there's definitely more updates for Fish and Planet coming. But there is something in the store. Uh, I did show it on one of my upload videos. Again, you might not have seen it, but I will quickly show you really quick. So in the store here, and the tools and equipments here. Oh, it doesn't highlight it, but underneath rod stands, it says polarized glasses coming soon. So that's pretty interesting. It doesn't tell me any more information, which is very unfortunate. And when it's going to be coming, I have no idea. But, yeah, there's that. <laughs> there's that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I have no idea when that's going to happen or what the glasses are going to be about or anything like that. I don't know. My guess, I don't think it would be. I don't, yeah, I think it would probably be too high tech. But... It would be good if you put the glasses on and they work like a fish finder. So when you look around on the water, you can see through the water and see where the fish are. I very much, I really can't see that being a thing. But if it was, that would be so awesome. That would probably make, if, that, if you could do that, I probably would fish on the boat a lot more. Because I could get pulled all around all different lakes fishing on the boat. Uh, all of that kind of stuff and that hasn't happened to me once they said that you have to use only titanium leader if you're using any other type of leader it will break it but I used I used titanium leaders and I used the mono leader and now I just stick with mono lead leaders they work really good they do the job just fine Okay, let me try the float rod. What about if I try the float rod with medium cut bait rather than using the 
rather than using the other rod. Let's see if it makes any difference at all. So let's put a four on. We got that at 27 inches. That's that's okay. Let's change it to 28. 28 inches. Okay, there we go. Let's cast there. Let's see if anything happens with that because we fish with the bait rod and we did catch with it, but it was uh, wasn't the fastest pace. So let's try the medium cut bait on the float. It being at a different position in the water rather than it sitting dead flat on the bottom, it might make a difference. Might not, but it might do as well. So we're at 907, 908. I'm going to time it by 915 if we have no interest. I change the line depth. I don't want to waste too much time. That's not a bad size. A unique bonefish. 18 pound. Not a bad size. I would have thought I would have had some interest. By now. I did hear some beeping on that fish finder. I'm going to change the line depth. Take it to 13 inches. If nothing happens, then we'll take it the opposite way. Okay, 9.11, 9.12. We'll say to 9.20. See if anything happens. If nothing, and then again, I'd change it. It shouldn't take longer than that for something to hit it. It shouldn't take longer than that. This is proper night fishing though. It's proper night fishing. I wouldn't normally fish this late. Definitely not. The furthest I normally get in blue crab is... I think probably 9 o'clock is probably the furthest. <laughs> I haven't really gone past that, I don't think. Okay, so we've got some interest. Let's bring it in closer. Like here. I know that's in really, really close. But the fish finder keeps going off, so... Let me, re let me put that back out again. Hold on. Okay, so we change it to the opposite way. 107 inches. There's a few fish keep going past us. So we just cast there. Really close next to us. But if we catch a fish, we catch a fish. If we don't, I won't try it again. <laughs> so 9.16, I'll wait till 9.22. If nothing, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna jump this day. Look at that! I can see that guy when he gets a fish on. I can see it, see like a reflection of it there under the water. Look at that! So there's some fish going by us right now. I haven't paid any interest to our float though. Don't, I don't feel like that's that's good. Look at that. I can see the fish. There on the water. No. Nope. I think it might be that time slot that I said. 8pm till 9pm. We're going back with using this because that's what we had it on before so we're on a sunny day 8 p.m let's see if i manage each day is going to obviously give us well there's going to be one of those days that we find where it does give us the unique flounder one of those that some of the days are just going to give us trophies and standard size but there's going to be a certain day that we got to fish for them and I'm not sure if it's the cloudy day, sunny and cloudy day, or just the sunny. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's permit. That's unfortunate. All oh, these permits are such a pain. 
I don't want to be fighting you right now. I want to be getting my flounder. It's going to fight me like crazy. Can I, can I not? I can't take my anchor up now, can I? Oh, great. Nice one, Bubbles. <laughs> I should keep my anchor down. And then that way I can... I can then go towards the fish quicker. Rather than fighting it for 10 minutes. I just don't want to keep repositioning my boat all the time. That's it. The only thing, but then by me reposition it, I think it will be a lot quicker than what I'm doing. That did help that it swam towards me. Come on. I'm wasting valuable time right now. That might be a good size though. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was. Unique permit. Well, that's good. Because that's the first unique we as a permit that we've had on P PC. We have had had it on console, but yeah, that's good that we got it on PC. But that's not what I'm after, so it's not that good. Come on, give me a unique flounder. That will I'll be buzzing for the rest of the night. That'd be awesome. That's what I want. We're at 8.09, so we've still, got, we've still got a bit of time left here. Around about 40 minutes in game time, 50 minutes before it starts slowing down. I'm very surprised I got that. I hit the wrong button and then hit the strike button after. It's red drum. Black drum. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't know why I did that. I was thinking of bait. But I do catch them in pretty close though. I've noticed me casting that far out. I don't really get much interest until I get in closer. There we go. Come on. No. That's another drum. That's a black drum. Oh, I want the flounder, please. Come on, game. Oh wow, there we go, 50 pound, not bad, it's good that we still do catch the odd other fish as well, because obviously that is covering our days fishing, when I'm jumping forward time to try and catch this, us catching those other fish is paying for our days, so we're not losing money, the only thing I'm losing is my bait coin, which that's real money. <laughs> Definitely, the, the time slot between 8 and 9 is insane how, how quick you get hits, it's unbelievable. It's a shame that I keep grabbing permit though. I don't want permit. <clears throat> oh, I missed it. No way. There we go. We got it that time, though. I'm trying to keep it more on the bottom because I know that's where the flounder are going to be hiding out, but we're getting everything but that. <laughs> we're getting everything but that fish. I could try using a different type of bait. Use the use the buzz bait, but I mean put on a different different thing. Maybe try using the lava. Or maybe something else. See what else I got. Or even see see if they've got something in the shop. In the shop. If they have something in the shop, that might be pretty good, because that's normally like a recommended thing. Another drum. 44 pound. We filled up our net pretty fast. From 8 
and we're now we're now at not even halfway. We're like 8.24 and we got 209 pounds. So we have definitely filled our net pretty fast. So that's that's really good. I think the amount of fish that I'm catching here, I can probably catch the same amount within tarpon within within like an hour time slot. So definitely a really good place to fish. Let's try the other one. Let's see if we get anything with the other one. Go back to this. We did. We had a trophy on this before, so if we have trophy on it, we can definitely get unique. We just gotta be. I gotta try be patient. Try and find the right day. There is gonna be. Is either gonna be the sunny day? I think we did this. Yeah, we did the sunny and cloudy day, and now we're doing the sunny day. So. The last day to test is just just the cloudy day and see if just the cloudy day see if that then if that then gets us the unique there is going to be a certain day that does definitely <laughs> how's it going trippy you good man what a beautiful day it's been today huh Yeah, it's because I, it's because I was making a, a different video. I was making some content. I was making a blog. It was pretty good actually. I got to edit it, but it's um, yeah, it's pretty good. So because of that, I went out. I managed to buy a motorbike battery today, so that was really awesome. I had to borrow some money, but. <laughs> At least, at least I managed to buy a motor, motorbike battery. I bought the same one. It cost me uh, 57 pound. So, yeah, not not cheap, but <laughs> if it lasts me another eight and a half years, it's worth it. There we go. Come on, please do it for do it for YouTube, please. Please, please be unique. I'm not going to look. Oh, no. Well, at least I know this one works. We just got to we got to find the right day. I am going to get this thing. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. You're so happy. That's good, man. I think a lot of people are happy to get out, get fresh air. Like I went out today. And I felt really, I don't know, I can't explain how I felt, but it wasn't, I felt really uncomfortable. Because I've just been staying in for so long. When you stay in for so long and then all of a sudden you go out, it's so, yeah, it just, I felt so strange, I can't explain it. But it was, I felt really strange going out, but then once I was out, I felt alright. It was, it was really strange feeling at first though. Good to see you back again, Judy. How did you post a stream when, how did I post a video when I'm streaming? <laughs> just, I just click post. That's it. I just change it from private to public. I normally post that a video between like eight and six, but obviously because I started the stream later today. Uh, yeah, I ended up posting the video out whilst being live. Yeah, isolation is not good, man. Yeah, I, I've spent a long time indoors going out buying that battery today means that i'm now able to drive my bike there is a good thing i got my motorbike working but there is a really really bad thing as well so we're well, not really bad but it is bad might as well be in it it feels like i have been man yeah like the only one good thing is is i have managed to put so much more time into youtube but the one bad thing is is i love I don't know why, but I really enjoy making moto blogs, man. I love doing moto blogs, and I haven't been able to do moto blogs because, obviously, not going out. And I even brought extra power banks as well, just to do a live stream whilst driving on my motorbike. 
Now I am going to be able to do that at some point, but my problem is with my motorbike now is I have brought a, I lent the money to buy a new battery, so that's good. I wired the battery up, I pressed my electric start, and it done nothing. All my dashboard and everything's lit up. All my headlights are, my brake lights are, so that's good. The horn works, which it didn't before. My indicators work. All the full beam and everything works, so it's good. The battery is good. It was worth me buying it. I am able to kickstart the bike. I could literally hold it and push it with my hand and it would kickstart. So it's very, very easy to kickstart it, which is good. Please be unique flounder. If you are a unique flounder, I will eat my own hat. Uh, no, I won't. I won't. I need my hat. But, okay, it's permit. But, um, yeah, so I've got to kickstart the bike because my electric start is, for some reason, not working. I have no idea why. But I know Geordie did have the problem once before when he had the bike. There was something with the electric start. It did stop working. And he had something replaced on it. I asked him. He can't remember what he had replaced. So, I'm going to have to take it to a garage and pay for it to be repaired. Which is probably going to set me back with a good part of near £100. So that's not going to happen for a while. But at least I'm still able to drive and get some fresh air. That's all that matters, man. Like, I'm glad that the bike's moving. But, big pain that it doesn't work by the electric stuff. You're still stuck at stuck in at home, are you, Judy? There's been over 100k deaths related to COVID. Hmm. There's a lot. There's probably a lot more than that, man, as well that some people don't know about. It really, really, really did spread. Really did spread. Yeah, I, I, I get one problem fixed, but then I have another problem. Because I, ra I rang Geordie and I said to him, do you remember what it was called that you got replaced on the electric start? And he said to me, don't know. If he knew, if he could remember what it was, so then it would make my life a lot cheaper. Because <laughs> I could just order the part, get the part delivered to my house, so then I could just rip the panels off, well not rip them off, but you know what I mean. I could take the panels off and I could do it myself. I don't like taking my bike to a garage. If I'm doing repairs, I would prefer to do it myself. Not just to save money, but I've always worked on my own bike. Always worked on my own bike. But when it comes to the electric start, mm -mm, no good. I could change a starter motor. I could change a spark plug. I could change brakes, wheels and stuff. But... The electric start itself is connected to something else. And I think the thing that it's connected to is the thing that's... It's like a delay. Some kind of delay thing. I don't know what it is, but... The thing that it's connected to, I think that's the thing I need to replace. Not the actual button itself, because the button itself got replaced before. So I think the thing that is connected needs to be replaced. What a pain, huh? Yeah, yeah, 2.8 million. Uh, that's tarpon. That's a lot of people, man. But yeah, it's good that everybody can get out and get some fresh air. That is good. I think as long as everybody keeps a little bit of social distancing, I think that's still a, a thing that people should do just to, just to kind of stay safe. When that sun comes up and then goes down like that and you get like that kind of midnight look. That looks so nice, man. If I do catch a unique flounder, I I would recommend you to turn the volume down if you're wearing headphones. Because I probably would get very, very excited. I've tried to catch this before. I had no luck. It's a very hard fish to catch. If I do catch it, I'll probably be flying out of my chair. I will be really hyped up. 
Hopefully I do it. It will give me a good day. I'll be buzzing for the rest of the night. I probably wouldn't sleep, but it'll still be good though. Might have 5k deaths. You can't get out. Your mum won't let you. Your mum won't let you, man, because she's keeping you safe. It's not a bad thing. Don't be upset about it. I haven't been going out myself. You guys know that because I'm I'm here every day. <laughs> I haven't gone out. Obviously, I went out today because I went in, I went to go get a battery for my motorbike. But other than that, the, I uh, within the, the whole time of this coronavirus thing going on, I've only been out twice. And that's one time when I went out, did a live stream, and my battery died on my old phone. The battery weren't very good, so I now got a new contract phone, new power banks and stuff. So we were able to do a live stream whilst being outside. And uh, and I went out today. That's the first time I've been out, so I haven't been out for a, a long time. Oh, I missed it. Uh, no, I didn't verify it, man. Uh, I, just, I think it's what I'm going to do is... Obviously, today I was busy going to get the battery, but I'm not busy tomorrow. So I think it's what I'm going to do is just probably... I'm just probably going to delete it, man. To be honest, I think that's my best option. Delete it, put it in a different folder. Uh, name it a certain something so I know it's specifically that and then yeah oh well i missed it again i think that's the best thing for me to do if i do that just delete the whole thing and just start again rather than because verifying is just going to do the same thing it's still going to download anyway so i'd rather just delete it and then put it somewhere in a folder where i know where it's going to be Well, some people have some people have died from it, so it is a possibility you could. That's why they say about keeping social distancing and staying at home and not going out. So you say you can't die from it, but people have died from it. And you know, your mum, your mum obviously cares about you. She wants you to stay safe, and that's why she's saying to you not to go out. I got three kids myself, and. They always say to their mum every day they're bored and they want to go out and, you know, it's hard work staying indoors with three kids all bored and you bored yourself. It's not fun. But would you rather be bored or, or to a point where you're dead, you know? <laughs> Boredom beats being dead. So she's trying to keep you safe, man. Trying to keep you safe. Look at it. Look at it that she's doing it because she cares. That's why she's telling you to stay home. I've had so many hits within this cast, but I didn't manage to hook it. Not once. I don't even know how many times it hit. Oh my god. Ah, oh, there we go. We got it in the end. <laughs> that was... That was a little annoying. Gotta be honest. That was like... That was like wearing a pair of shoes that didn't feel comfortable that you didn't want to wear anymore. <laughs> oh no, don't start doing it to me again, please. Don't do it again. Oh my god. Why am I not hooking this properly? I was doing fine before. There we go. The amount of times it, it hits before I actually get it, that's, that's a little bit bonkers. You know, one thing I've never ever actually done for these fish is try to catch them on a rainy day. That's one thing I've never done. And yet that could be the day where it works. <laughs> I've never done that. 
It's not a, it's not a bad idea. I don't think it's right it rains in the evening though. I know it does in the morning. But then the flounder's more more night. So I don't know if that would work actually. Unless we got a rainy night, but I don't think you do. Come on, be a unique flounder, please, come on. Oh no. I don't mind, we are still earning money each day, so at least we're not losing money, but I feel like I'm almost dedicated to this fish at this point. <laughs> I feel like I am. I've been fishing here for a little bit though. I have been fishing here for a little bit. We fit, yeah, we fished here yesterday on the live stream. We're fishing here today. Uh, we're day 46. So we have fished here a lot. Don't worry, tomorrow I am gonna, we are gonna, I'll probably head over to Maku Lake tomorrow. We'll head over to somewhere else and we'll catch some, some other fish so we're not keep catching the same one. So yeah, tomorrow we will fish a new lake. We'll fish the new one. There's quite a bit of fish there, look at that. Come on, give me the unique flounder, please. That'd be so, it'd be so, so beautiful. <laughs> it's because when you want to try and catch a fish so bad, that's never the fish that you get. It's always a different type of fish that you want. At least we have we have caught the flounder, so that's one thing. And we have caught trophy, our biggest trophy. So again, that's good. But we're getting close to the unique, but we still haven't got it. Cool, that was a good little freeze there. We might have to jump next day now, I think. Maybe the cloudy and sunny day is not the day for the unique. Maybe it's not the day. As I say, for the rainy day, I think maybe that could be good, but I just don't think it rains at night. I'm pretty sure it don't. They did say at one point that the junk that you pull out of the lakes that you fish, like it being an old boot or or something that you can you can exchange them in for cash or gold at some point. They did talk about doing that. This was a long time ago they said it though. They did say that they were gonna do something like that. The junk items that you're pulling out, that you can exchange for stuff. Don't I don't think that's yeah. Maybe that's something they didn't put in action because it hasn't happened. But they did talk about doing it. That they just never got round to it. You never know though. They could it could happen in the future. <clears throat> but I'm getting up in this time. I'm gonna jump forward. Nothing's happening. I don't know what time. What time did I catch that flounder? I think that that trophy one wasn't it just before eight o'clock, or was it at eight? I'm pretty sure it was just before. I think like fishing from seven up onwards. That so must have been like about ten to eight. I think it could have been. I don't think it's gonna tell me the time though, is it? We had some interest there, but it didn't. It didn't take it. I missed it. Let's have a look real quick. I don't think it's going to tell me the time. It's just going to say late evening or something, isn't it? No. No fish data. 
What do you mean no fish data? There you go. <laughs> Alright. So that was on a sunny. That was on a sunny day that we had that. Alright. So sunny day we had a unique uh not a unique, sorry, a trophy. So if we have a trophy on, on a sunny day, on the on the another sunny day we should be able to we should be able to take unique. We should be able to. This cloudy day hasn't pulled us in any any at all yet. Hasn't even pulled us in a standard size one. So I think maybe the sunny day is going to be the day where we do get that unique. Unless we get a chance to try just cloudy day. Because we haven't tried just cloud. I'm going to lose. I probably am going to lose a bit of cash by trying to catch this fish it's kind of silly that I'm doing it but just because I'm gonna keep jumping days forward and stuff to try and find it it's a very hard fish to get it really is all the time we keep pulling in fish like that though it's gonna help our situation it means that I'm only gonna be losing bait coins not cash and bait coins which does make it a little bit better wow look at that i have to wait one hour and 21 minutes to keep fishing before i can actually jump forward time again that's a short moment i feel like i should mm. i don't know whether to do seven or eight just do eight okay that's a sunny and cloudy day <laughs> Playing some GTA whilst watching me. I sell, I sell gamers do it, man. I sell gamers do it. We keep getting a lot of cloudy days, but no, I don't gonna lose a lot of cash by doing this. But I really want to try. Okay, so here's a sunny day. Let's try. Come on. If I do catch this as unique, I am definitely going to make a video clip of it. And I definitely am going to post a, a separate video. And I'm going to say that, that this fish is a fish that I don't want to catch again. <laughs> it isn't. It will be really nice when I do get it. I will be real happy. But it's so, it's so difficult to catch. And for the fact that I actually really like to catch that fish because I can catch it where I am in real life that makes me want to catch it more but I just can't get that really big one It. I don't know why I keep missing them all the time. It makes me think that maybe there's something that's taking it and I'm not using the right size hook. That's what it makes me think. Because there's no way I miss that many strikes. I never miss that many strikes. The amount of times we've used the popper, I do, I do miss the odd couple of strikes, yeah, but not that many, nowhere near. I think the only, it uh, just doesn't drop to a four. I think it goes from a five hook straight down to a three. So I can't really use, I guess I could try a three, but that might be too small. And I wouldn't be able to get that far of a cast actually thinking about it. So I can't use the three. I would not be able to car cast very far at all. Okay, so the sunny day we used that and we had that fish on. 
I think it might be it might be worth trying the float again it likes medium cut bait it's, that's its all time favourite beep 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 you, you, <laughs> you're going in the wrong way oh there you go we got some interest Still biting. There we go. Okay, not the fish that we wanted. This medium cut bait's got it's gotta work. It says that it likes it, so it's gotta work. Oh, give me one sec guys. My dog's trying to get under the blanket, but she keeps going inside the blanket. I don't want her to get stuck. Give me one second, alright? Come here. Come didn't like the idea of me moving her blanket. <laughs> no, she didn't like that. <clears throat> now she's just sitting there looking at me, thinking that I ruined it. The blanket, one of the popper thingies at the bottom were open, so she was getting in between the sheet and the quilt itself. So she had then be stuck inside the sheet. <laughs> so I, I pulled it down, clipped it back up. And now she's laying on top of it. She don't want to go under the blanket now. I don't know why she would want to go under the blanket. It's so hot. She has to sleep under the blanket. Man, that, that float sucks. We kept having in, we kept having interest there, but it's not biting. So I'm gonna go back with the. Was it this one? No. I'm going to have to scroll through every single rod now just to try and find that medium cut bait rod. There we go. I think if we would catch a flounder, it would probably be more on this rod because the bait's going to be more at the bottom and the flounders like to be on the bottom. That's my theory. <laughs> so, yeah. They're on the bottom, the bait's on the bottom. That should be the way it works. But we'll see. I'm not going to spend too much time bait fishing though because I feel like it's too much downtime. It's downtime when I'm not catching, but yeah, if I'm using a spinning rod, I'm still busy doing something. Okay, I got some vibration on the controller. lost interest yeah it's lost interest no I honestly think that the bait would work but I'm just too I am too impatient I think I think the bait could work though if I weren't so impatient I think the bait would work but this, this buzz bait should work as well though. If we've had trophy with it. Come on. Alright. Every now and again fishermen have bad days. And I think that's what we've hit. We hit a bad day. Or maybe not. I was just testing you guys. <laughs> I was just testing you guys. It could just be coincidence, but I feel like whenever I'm fishing... It don't matter what lake I'm fishing, I start fishing and then people just start appearing around where I am at. I could be wrong. 
But I feel like that, that happens a lot. It's not too bad sometimes. But sometimes it can it sometimes it can get a little bit crazy. <laughs> it can get quite busy sometimes. The good thing is though, there's three of us at this spot and nobody's in anybody's way. We're all kind of keeping a little bit of space for each other, so that's pretty good. That is good. <clears throat> Just because I caught that black drum, it's gonna make me just have a few more casts before I jump in next day. I don't honestly think I'm gonna get the, the unique flounder. I really don't. I don't think it's gonna happen. I want it to happen, but I don't think it's gonna. I'm too impatient for that fish. That takes a lot of patience. That's something I'm not very good with. I'm quite impatient in real life as well, not just on the game, just to throw that out there. <laughs> pretty sure you guys know that though. I'm yeah, pretty sure you know that. At least we covered our day though, catching those few fish. Not the fish that we wanted, but at least we're not losing too, too much money trying to do this. If I keep catching a few fish here and there, and it covers our day, when I keep jumping forward, we're not losing cash and, and bait coins. It's a shame that when you get to day 30, it gives you something like a free item. In every lake it does that, when you get to day 30. But when you get to day 50, it doesn't give you nothing. I don't know about day 60 or 70 or 80 or plus that, because I've never got that far. But... Yeah, I feel like the, if, the further you go, you should get something else. But I don't know, because I haven't gone further. So, it, possibly you could. I don't know what's, what's the furthest, though. Like, the, long, the most I've fished one place. I've grinded a lot of different lakes. And, yeah, I don't know what the furthest day is that I've ever got. It could be now. It could be day 49. It might not be though. I miss that. I completely miss that. Why do you think I'm fishing here, man? Why do you think I'm fishing here? I could be fishing that new lake, getting extra subscribers, new people who's never seen the map. Me, show, me, you know, fishing in hot spots. I could be earning really good subs right now, really good view time and everything, but I'm not. And now you know why. <laughs> the map does look nice. The map looks absolutely amazing, in fact. It does look really, really nice, but the XP and the cash is terrible. I have no idea what Fishing Planet are doing with that. If they don't fix it, I couldn't imagine myself. I will still fish there, obviously, but I couldn't ima imagine myself going to that place very often. That's why I'm fishing here. I, I fished here because I needed XP. I leveled up really fast. And now I'm fishing here on a boat. Come on, please be unique. It's not going to be. I didn't fight that much. Oh. Ah. <sighs> It's such a struggle. It's such a struggle. <laughs> I don't mind. At least we've still had some fun fishing on this boat though. Driving around, catching different types of fish rather than just always tarpon. We've caught different fish. So it's still good. Yeah, yeah, I love Weeping Willow, man. I've fished many, many... That's probably Weeping Willow... It's probably the main place where I fish the most out of every lake, I would have thought. I would have thought that. But I have done my fair share on Blue Crab, that's for sure. And I've definitely done a fair share on this map. I probably have, the thing that makes me think that I have done Weeping Willow more is obviously it's an older lake. So, I probably have, yeah, fished there more than what I have Blue Crab. 
in one day there on a good day I can catch really really fast fill my net up to like a thousand one thousand one hundred pound and I get nearly ninety thousand cash that's insane ninety thousand cash for one day's fishing man that is absolutely insane and yet there's lakes a lot le higher level and yet you can't earn that much in one day that's that's silly it makes no sense to me wouldn't you make the higher level lakes the more rewarding lake at least that's the way i would have thought it would have worked i don't like to say anything bad about any game that i play but i do always have to give my honest opinion and that's not the best place it's not the best place to fish definitely not they can't lie and say oh yeah i really like it and fish there and i don't like it quite a few times when i've done a live stream there i've said it's good that I do catch the big fish and it's nice that I beat my world record fish and stuff but other than catching the biggest fish and it looks really nice other than that there's not much there's not much to it especially when it involves XP and cash even more so when people are buying the DLC for that place they get into that place they buy the DLC they get in that place and they think, okay, I'm going to grind here for seven days. I'm going to fish here for seven days, real time, seven days. And I'm going to grind it out, get a serious amount of XP and cash. And I'm going to be rich and I'm going to level up. In seven days, I'd be surprised if you level, if you got two levels in seven days, I would be very surprised. I don't think that, I don't think that would happen. I fished there for seven days. Obviously, I was making videos as well. So there was times where... Obviously, I could have put more hours in and I didn't, but I don't think if you was level 50, there's no way you'd get to level 58. No way. I couldn't see that happening. If it did, I'd be, you'd obviously have to play it constantly, non-stop. Like, yeah, you would have to play it non-stop. Yeah, the XP's a good, yeah. My dad fished there a lot to level up, to get him to Blue Crab Island. He absolutely smashed it out in Weeping Willow. He smashed it out. He's got a good amount of cash as well. He's got a lot of rods now, a lot of money. Yeah, yeah it would take you a long time to level up in, in that Maku Lake. As I say, it is a shame because it does look really, really nice. It looks like a beautiful place. It does, but other than that, when I'm fishing there, doing live streams, I don't feel like it's good content. And the reason why is this because it just don't feel good to me. I'm not, I'm not going to go and lie about a game. I can't do that. I have to give my honest opinion. I, I, yeah. What's the point of me lying, saying, oh yeah, go buy the DLC, it's really good. What's the point of me saying that when it's not? Because it's not. Even on the PS4 right now, I don't have premium because I don't have money to buy to buy premium. I don't have money to buy that DLC either. If I did have money, I probably would be playing PS4, yes, but I would be doing it as if me buying premium. I wouldn't buy the DLC to get to that new lake because it's I don't feel like it's worth it. It's not worth my money. I don't feel like it's worth other people's money. The rod's good, but you don't get the fish there very long. If they made the DLC where you could have more premium, or you're able to fish there for more than seven days, that could make it better. If you could get more XP for the fish, that would be, that'd be a million times better. But it is what it is. They did apparently give them two buffs as well on XP, and I noticed the, I didn't notice the difference. The only difference I noticed was when I was using barbless hooks. I do get more XP for using barbless hooks. Other than that, I don't see any difference. But no matter what place you fish, if you're using barbless hooks, you're going to get more XP. So, yeah, barbless hooks. If you're trying to get XP, it is worth getting barbless hooks just to try and boost you to that level as quick as you can 
it does make a big difference. I think between two different fish that I caught, I worked it out to be around about, if it's a big fish, you're catching fish around about 200 pounds. It works out to be about a thousand XP extra if you use a barbless hook. So that's something to keep in mind if you need XP. That's definitely something to keep in mind. When I was trying to get to level 60, that's what I did. I come to Blue Crab Island, I put on the barbless hook, I leveled up so quick, insanely fast. I can get at least one one level a day at minimum, but if I had played it all day and put a couple of hours in at night, I could probably level up twice. I can definitely get one and a half level in a day, I know that, because I started, I don't know, maybe say like 11 a.m. my time, fish till like 3, so that's four hours. I fished probably again another four hours in the evening. So it's like eight hours gaming. And within that eight hours gaming, I got one and a half level. So that's, um, yeah, that's definitely, Barbless Hooks definitely does get insane XP. I completely missed that. Yeah, they are for sure. I decided to hop on the stream for a bit. How is you? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> yeah, barbless hooks, you want to level up. They work insane. And it, funny enough, I never really used to use barbless hooks. It was only recently that I decided to, to try them. Because everybody kept saying to me that there's... They're getting so much more XP. They level up so much quicker using barbless hooks. So that's what I thought I'd give it a shot. It really does make a big difference. It's been a long week. I think, whoa, that made me jump. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing, man. Yeah, it's been a long week for uh, me as well. Dragon, thanks for subscribing. What's up, Bubbles? I'm good, man. <clears throat> yeah, my week's been a little bit crazy. My motorbike battery died. Wouldn't start. I then finally borrowed some money today to buy a new motorbike battery. And now, my electric start don't work. Couldn't have been a better day. Other than getting some nice fresh air for a change. Other than staying indoors, that was good. But other than that, um, not so good. <laughs> but at least I'm still able to kickstart my motorbike. So I'm still able to drive. That's the most important thing. I haven't seen you for a long time, Dragon. I remember you subscribed to the other channel before, didn't you? This one's a new one. I hope it's all good with you, man. I haven't spoke to you for a very, very long time. That's bonefish, is it? Or cat? Okay, that's a cat. Come on, please. Give me that unique flounder. I would jump up and down like crazy. It is a waste of money, man. It is. Blue crab is the best. It's, it's the best for catching. The, the thing that makes blue crab the best is not just, not just the speed of how fast you catch. There's so many things. How many hot spots there is on this map compared to the other map. There's so many more hot spots. The map's a lot, lot bigger. Um, yeah, my other channel. I deleted my other YouTube channel, yeah. Well, there's the flounder that we want. It's not unique, but that's what we want. I deleted the other one because I couldn't keep two YouTube running by myself. Before, I used to have someone help me out with it. Now, I don't have someone help me out with it anymore. And I couldn't run... I couldn't stream on that one. And then, later on, put videos on there. And then, stream on the other one. It was just wearing me down, man. I was trying to do too much. So now instead of me doing two channels, I can put all my time into this one channel. So I live stream every day, post videos out every day as well. I do normally 
only live stream from Monday to Friday, but if I'm not busy on the weekends, then I will stream on weekends. If I don't stream weekends, then I definitely put a video. But sometimes I can't always stream on the weekends, just because obviously I have to make time for family. But I do try my best. But it's better me having just the one channel. It means now I can means now I can stream on here and put a video out on here every day. But then the time that I have left can be time for myself, time for my family, um, time for me working out, time to watch films. <laughs> I don't know. It just gives me time, more time. And obviously I need to work as well, so... It means that I'm not balance, I'm not out balancing myself to the point where I'm too tired and I don't have the energy for it. Doing them two channels, it was like that. I was just over. Yeah, I felt like I I was too moody because I'm doing too much. I'm not sleeping much. I'm just exhausting myself. I should have put a video really out on the other channel saying you know I got a new YouTube, but I didn't bother. I just sent a few people. A few people, a couple of messages on PlayStation saying that I've changed and a few people on Steam and that was it. So it was only around about 20 people. But I'm making good content. I'm making content that people want to see. I'm showing tips and tricks, showing new lakes, new DLCs. Are they good to buy? Are they not to buy? I'm playing different types of games. So... The content that I am making it is definitely useful. I'm glad to have you back. <laughs> glad to have you back too, man. It's been a long time since I spoke to you. A very long time. So Fish and Planet is probably the main game that I do play on the channel. Just because I've played this game for so long. And I do, I do definitely enjoy playing this game. I don't really think I've ever really said anything too bad about this game. And I say anything too bad because I've never really cussed this game or said, or lost my lost my um, hat over it and got really stressed out. There has been a few times it has it has annoyed me, <laughs> but the, that new lake is ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. It's silly. It's so silly. They gave it two two buffs um, on XP. The first buff, I didn't see any difference. The second buff, uh, I ended up doing a live stream showing it, and I didn't see any difference again. I saw no difference. So the the thing that they did update apparently adding more XP and I say apparently because that's the way it looks to me I don't see any difference in XP them saying adding, adding an update XP for that lake I don't see the difference I didn't just catch the one fish neither like I caught the fish that I would normally catch different uniques I caught, caught different uniques and I don't see any difference in XP Well, we call that in real close. See, that one fish there, just that one fish, covers my day. <clears throat> so me jumping forward quite a few days don't really make any difference. So as we see when we get to day 50, we don't get any free anything for free. I think it is just up to day 30, and then that's it. I would like to get to day 100 and see if it gives me some kind of trophy or I don't know just to see if it gives me anything else for free because <laughs> it does that on day 30 so maybe double that maybe day 60 it could maybe give you something or maybe day 100 it could I'm going to test it out not right now but I am going to test it out and jump forward so many days to about a day 100 and see if it does give me anything a trophy or just anything yeah I'm interested to see if it does I'm definitely interested to see if it does uh, well <clears throat> we had a flounder 
again it wasn't unique that's what we're looking for I don't think I'm honestly gonna get it but we can but try okay so the cloudy days weren't good so I'm not gonna even bother with that we're gonna lose money but we're doing it for the stream there we go sunny day let's hopefully this is gonna be my last attempt this is gonna be my last attempt to try and get this unique I've spent too much time trying to get it it's it's hard work it really is hard as I say I think if I fish more in the night time <clears throat> possibly that could make a difference I'm just too impatient for this fish I don't want to spend too much time and I have spent a lot so far Look at that, somebody's re reached rank 40. I was there once. I was there a long time ago, I was there. That's why sometimes I make videos on different lakes, not just showing new lakes. Like showing different missions in other lakes as well. That's why I do that, to try and help some of them people that are lower level. There's not... Everyone's not the same as me, max level. There is people obviously that are lower, so... That's why I, I show different missions and sometimes fish different lakes because of that reason and then them lower level people can see the hot spots that I use see what kind of baits I'm using what hooks I'm using where I'm fishing I feel like I want to do something a little bit a little bit different Oh, I almost had that. And I'm going to show you what I mean by something a little bit different in a minute. just want to see if that fish comes back for this. It didn't. I know it's the sunny day. And we did catch the, the trophy of the flounder. But I don't think the unique is there at that time. So I'm going to go proper proper night time 1 a.m i've never fished at this time in blue crab island never so it could be really good it could also be really bad <laughs> again we don't know until we try though so i know that the flounder will like where i'm from i can catch flounder but they seem to you do get the odd one or two in the daytime but they are definitely more around at night so by me coming to 1 a.m. in the morning possibly it could happen I did have a bite and I had another bite there you go there's a second bite I missed it twice so that's awesome but at least we still get bites though so that's That tells me that I can catch at this time. Nine pound unique catfish. That's a pretty good size. Nine pound. They don't get very big. That's that's not a bad size. Nine pound. <clears throat> Maybe I should try putting on a night bait as well. I just want to see. Because we had a couple of hits with this. So I just want to see what it what it gets me. I want to see if I do pull, pull in any flounder with it. But I got the I got the claw. And the claw's like a nighttime thing, so it might it might actually do better than what I'm using right now. The first class I had so many hits that time. Nothing. Let me put on the let, I'm gonna put on I'm gonna change it. We'll put on the night one. It might might be better. So this one. The X series glow, the crawl. That's for the night time. We're fishing night. Makes sense. <laughs> Let's see if it if it does do anything. It is still a, it is still classed as like a soft bait, so technically, we should still it should work. Okay, 
Okay, it does work, so that's one good thing. Whether it's flounder or not, I don't know, but it definitely works. Oh wow, this might not be a bad size. Uh, I think it's drum. Oh wow, okay, this could be unique. This could be. Oh, yes, we got it. Woo! Yeah! Sorry, people. Oh my god. That simple. That's how you do it. That was a little bit loud. I know. I, I gotta clip that. Whew. At long last. Oh my god. You would not believe how long I've been doing that. <laughs> Unless you was here from almost the beginning. Oh wow. That was so worth it. That's a good clip as well. Oh my god. I said that fish was so hard to catch. I come to 1pm and boom. That that quick. That's insane. That's actually got my heart pumping. That is, that's good. <laughs> yes. That's the first time I've ever caught that. As unique anyway. On PS4 or on Steam. That's the first time. I can't believe that. That is absolutely awesome. And just randomly I decide to change it to the crawl and we get a hit as unique. Boom. That quick. That's really good. I can't believe that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes! That's what I'm talking about. So I know that I can catch it at 1pm. I might not be able to catch it between 7 to 8pm. But I can definitely catch it at 1am in the morning though. That's what I'm saying. I, I know where, I, where I'm from. For me to catch flounder in real life. I would catch the odd one or two in the daytime, but it wouldn't really be very much at all. It would definitely be when it's dark, dark. When it's completely dark, that's when I would catch flounder in real life. And that's what I've done. I put a bit of my real life thoughts into this, and it worked. I'm going to jump straight to 1am again the next day, because we've already caught it that once. Let's see if we can get it again. Normally when you do catch a unique, you can catch it again, but sometimes it does it does take a short minute. So for the fact that I'm only going for that, I'm just gonna yeah keep jumping in future. If I want to try and catch that fish, I am gonna do it for seven. Oh I missed it. Uh, not seven, sorry. I'm gonna do it for one a.m. I am going to make a little video on that though as well. As long as I do keep on catching that unique a couple of times. If I catch it at least like, I don't know, four more times. Just so I know that wasn't luck. <clears throat> yeah, if I can catch it four more times as unique, then I know that time, this place, this spot, the certain things I'm using, that's what, that's what you need. Rather than it just being the odd lucky one. I don't want it just to be the odd lucky one. I'm hoping it's going to be this is the right spot. And I'm hoping that this is the right time. That's awesome though. I've never ever caught Unique Flounder. I'm glad I finally have. It's a very hard fish to catch as you guys have seen. Especially if some of you have been watching from the beginning. It does... It does take many, many real hours to try and get it. <laughs> I can't see myself catching another one too quick. Not as unique, anyway. As I say, they're kind of like a like a rare fish type thing on on this map. I don't know why, but they are they are kind of rare. I'm glad I finally caught one. <clears throat> oh no. No one thing. 
I should have done, which I didn't do. And I think I had a fish after that. Oh wow, that was really... I should have set a marker, but I think I had the drum, wasn't it, for the last fish? Was it drum? Oh, it was. <laughs> oh, Bubbles, you're a silly man. I should have I should have set a waypoint. A uh, waypoint? <laughs> I should have set a marker, not a waypoint. I can't believe I've had the unique though. Even if I don't ever get unique of that again. At least I can say that I've still caught it. Even if it was just by luck. Even if it was just by luck, I don't mind that. At least we still caught it. Oh my gosh, that's the second hit I've had. And that's probably why I never actually caught the unique flounder before, because I've never actually fished in Blue Crab Island. Oh wow, I missed it again. That's actually quite frustrating. That is actually quite frustrating, I'm going to be honest. So yeah, I don't think that, that's probably the reason why I haven't caught the unique flounder before, because I've always fished in the day. I haven't really bothered to fish night time. So that explains why I ain't caught it. And I know that they, they come out at night as well. I know that. 
But yeah, I haven't bothered to fish night time for them. Normally the time frame I would just do anything like 7, 7, 8, 9 pushing it. That's the furthest I would normally fish. How's it going, Punisher? Good to see you, man. Okay. Let's try the next day. Forward time. Oh, wow. Nobody saw that. Luckily, it didn't cost me a bait coin that time. I don't want to do it today. Let's go to one again. Oh, okay. This could be a, this could be very, very different. This could be different. I, I said, I don't know if it rained at night. So it does. I've never fished night time. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's raining. Cloudy day raining. Oh, that fish finder's beeping though. Let's see what happens. I don't normally fish the rainy days because the rainy days are kind of slow, but it being cloudy, raining, I think the cloudy cloudy night would be pretty good, but it raining, I think, yeah, I don't know. Probably not so good. If I could just get a cloudy night, that'd be that'd be good. At least I know it does rain on at night though. It does look really nice. Look at that. Unfortunately, you can't really see that bit that well because well, the other guy is still there. Yeah. We can't do the rainy day. I don't think we would have much. I just want that cloudy. Oh, uh, we got another rain. Okay, this one's a different night. Most of the nights that we've come across so far, well, that look, looks really nice. Look at that water reflection there. It looks beautiful. Yeah, most of the nights that we've come across has been stars with with the moon. This night is just stars. So again, different days are going to help you to catch that unique easier. We'll have to see which day works best. There we go. Well, that was a pretty quick hit. 101, now 102. Oh, if this is flounder, this is unique as well. Come on. Do it for the stream. I know it ain't gonna be. I can't be that lucky. There's no way I can be that lucky. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, it's not. Imagine if it was though that quick. That I would, I would be shocked. It could, it could. It's a hard fish to catch. It couldn't. There's no way I could catch it that quick again. There's no. There's just no chance. trying to concentrate because I keep on missing the bites when it keeps on taking it I get bites and I keep missing I get bites and keep missing so I'm just wondering if I pay it a little bit more attention to looking at it if I can try and hook it right maybe there could be a better thing to use other than this buzz bait but for the fact that this works that's what makes me want to stick to it I do also have another night. I've got a nighttime spoon. I could probably try that. That might not be too bad as well. I don't have too much night gear on me because it's not nighttime's not normally a thing that I do very often anyway. Unless I go to Michigan and I'm trying to go for the um, the blue cats. That's not. Is that a bass? Okay, it's not. That's a black drum. 
I'm gonna say, I, didn't, I, I know you can catch the striped bass, you need striped bass over at the other location at night. So we, I don't know, never know, we could end up running across some bass here. We already have run across some bass in the daytime, but we haven't come across any at the night yet. But then we haven't fished that much in the night, so if I fish more, there's a good possibility. At least I'm starting to hook it a little bit more. I'm trying to pay that a little bit more attention just so I don't miss it. I don't know. It might be working. Could be just luck. Okay. Well. That's alright. I just wanted to clip that. Just so that way I can look that back in slow motion. And see exactly the point. Setting the markers is okay. But I don't want to use too many markers. So I can watch it back in slow motion. And see where it, when I hit strike. At the Pacific time. And the, that certain Pacific spot. And then that way I can look it back in slow motion. And it says we keep using those markers. That's what I do quite a bit. <laughs> that's, my, that's my tip. I probably never, never told you guys that before. But that's what I do do. I make little clips like that, I go back on it, I look at the time, I look at the day, I look what I was using, I look at the time that I strike, and then I kind of fi figure out the best times for them. The most clips that I've got, like I, the clips that I do, I only do like 20 second clips, so that way I'm not sitting there watching it for too long. Well, at least that's what I break it down to anyway. It's normally like a minute long, and then I break them down to 20 seconds. <clears throat> Red drum. That's so random though. For me to choose 1 o'clock, just randomly go to 1 o'clock and then catch unique of that fish. That's a really hard fish to catch. That's so random. 1 o'clock, just... Yeah. It's not, I guess it's not really too random because as I say, I do fish for flounder in real life and I know night time is their time they do, they do come out. So it's not too, too random. But the time, one o'clock, that is kind of random. There we go. Okay, that's a cat. A unique cat. <clears throat> this is pretty good. I'm doing a live stream and I'm testing stuff at the same time. But the, the stuff that I'm testing, we're getting closer to the point where it is working good. So, I think after this stream, I probably will spend... Probably another three hours here, real time. <laughs> Probably about another three hours just testing different things and seeing if I can nail it down that little bit quicker. But these fish are really hard to catch, so I don't think I'm going to be able to, to be honest. I will definitely try, but I don't think I'm going to be able to... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to try and make it any quicker to catch them or any other easier method. I don't think there is going to be a way. They have made these fish hard to catch. What? I have no idea what even happened there. I must have pressed the wrong button or something, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, rainy day. Okay, that's no good. Okay, so this is the day, the stars and the moon. Uh, let's try it. Let's see. Oh, okay, we just got snagged up. Oh, 
Oh, someone else is catching them. Someone else is going for flounder. I don't really often, it's not very often that I see people actually go for these fish, just because they are, I wouldn't say frustrating, but they are very, you've got to have patience. No, they are they are not easy to catch. Definitely not. I remember fishing here before with um, me and a few other people. And we was all catching trying to catch the same fish. And obviously we were communicating, chatting to each other and stuff, but Yeah, it was all of us found it really hard to try and get that unique. Oh that was flounder. If that was flounder, that could have been unique. Just because of the fight of the of it, I know how well they fight now after catching that f that one. So now I've caught that one. Whenever I get a fish on and it's fighting pretty good, I'm always going to think that it's that fish now. <laughs> I'm going to think that all the time. What a hard fish to catch, though, for sure. I missed it. I think that that's the most frustrating part is them parts. Them parts, every time I keep missing is that time when I, it could be that unique. It could be that time. And I don't think that I'm doing anything wrong to strike it. I don't think I am. I'm doing everything that I would normally do. And everything I normally do, I've pulled in millions of uniques on this game all over different maps. And it's always worked, but here, Catching these. I just don't seem to hook it right every time. I don't know why. I think maybe if I was using... Maybe... Maybe like a four hook. That might be... And then that way I wouldn't keep getting the bite and it not actually taking it. By me using the four it would probably take it more. But at least by me catching that as unique using the hash five, it means that I could set out medium cut bait and put on the hash five hook. I might have to sit there for a while, but there is a good chance I could end up catching end up catching it that way as well. So it's also another another option, definitely. This day is going too good. We're not. We're not getting. We're not getting what we need to get. <laughs> Even if I, I don't mind if we don't catch really fast, and it's not so bad if you're not catching. Even though I want to catch that unique again, if we don't, as I say, it's not a big deal. I've now caught it. But when you know you've caught it, and you want to try and catch it again. It's not going to be like any other fish. It's not going to be like the other tarpons and the the red drums and stuff where you can just really get get them again really quick. It's not going to work like that. And that's why that's what I have to have to, to come to terms with. <laughs> I don't like the idea of it. As again, Dominic, good to see you again, man. Okay, come on. Come on. No, let's drum. I finally caught the unique flounder. I finally caught it. I clipped it as well. It's taken me a short moment. But I decided to change to a different time. So at some point, there will be a video on this uh, on this unique flounder showing you how I did it. But you'll probably see here if I end up pulling another one. I definitely feel like the medium cut bait would work. I definitely feel like that would work, but... I will probably do that, but more when I'm not live streaming. 
just because I don't, I want, I don't want it to be too much downtime waiting. Obviously, bait does take that little bit longer, especially for the fact that we've only got the one rod. Now, this day sucks. I'm gonna have one last cast. There we go. Oh wow. Because I say one last cast, if you say that every time, this is the last time. Or well, I'm going to get to wait a couple of more minutes as soon as you say that. That's when your rod goes. It's like it knows. That's a red drum, uh, black drum, sorry. They give a good fight, even them small ones. They do, they do put up a good fight. They stand pretty well. This fish is not an easy fish to to catch, not not at all. I missed it, and I think the uh, the hardest part is not so much that it's not easy to catch, just more for the fact that every time it tries to bite, and I keep striking, and I keep missing it. That's so frustrating. <clears throat> I'm not I'm not really showing my frustration, but. I feel like clapping my hands really loud. <laughs> it is frustrating. It keeps biting and I'm not getting. It's not all so bad though, because at least we have caught one. I'd rather have the one unique than none. Um... Right, we're going to try the next day. That day... I'm not feeling that day. That night, should I say. I'm not feeling it. That night, that morning, whatever. I'm not feeling it. What's up, Judy? You pop back. Now, let's see if this day's any better. That last day weren't so good. Sometimes fishermen do have bad days. Oh, okay, nothing happened. I missed it again. And I missed it again. Oh my god! Rubbish flip flops. Come on. There we go. It's so annoying. It is so frustrating. Oh, that's got to be unique as well. Oh, it's trophy. Oh, yes, unique again. Oh my. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, I was so loud. Rip everybody with um, headphones. I got headphones on as well, so. That's crazy. Whoa, that's two uniques now. Warning, your fishnet is about to wear out. Oh, wow, okay. So I've never seen it say that before. Oh, wow, look at the durability left. I'm so glad that come up, otherwise my rod, uh, yeah, that would have been broken. <sighs> Two unique flounders, oh my. Okay, at least now we know how to catch the unique flounders. I probably, as I say, I probably will make it as a separate video, because we caught two of them. I'm going to catch a few more. I'm going to have to come out of this lake. i got to repair my net. If I don't repair my net, we'll be in big problems. Boss, boss left you for crew dog game. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> I don't care, man. If you guys are busy or you want to watch someone else stream, you don't have to sit here and watch me. You don't have to. If you guys, if you guys want to watch someone else stream, by all means, go ahead. This is not. I don't normally stream at this time. I'm obviously streaming at this time because I started later. I was busy, so I don't expect everyone to stay here. I appreciate everyone it does, obviously, but you don't have to. Okay, repair. Whoa, 161,000 to repair everything. That is... That's expensive. And we're now at 542,000 cash. That's, that's crazy. I might end there, I think. We've been streaming four hours, so... Um, 
yeah, I think we're gonna end there. And now we're gonna, I now have to edit those videos and um, make another video there. So, yeah. GG, man. I didn't even know you were still with us, Trippy. You was that quiet, man. <laughs> that's awesome, Dominic. You was racing. Nice. All right, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy this stream. Don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. We'll be live streaming again tomorrow. Um, I'm not too sure... I'm not too sure on what time tomorrow because I need to try and get some cash together and see if I'm able to get my bike going. Uh, at some point, we definitely are going to be doing a live stream on, on the motorbike. I've got battery banks and stuff, but um, yeah, that's just something I need to, I need to sit, try and get my bike good. But if, yeah. You don't. Okay, I think you, I think you all need to sleep. Everybody seems a bit angry in chat right now. Everyone go to sleep. Relax. Have a good time. Come back tomorrow. We'll, uh... <laughs> We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.